chat, I started this this stream by drinking undistilled PewDiePie. Uh I just took a swig of my fucking uh <laughs> of my Hello, fucking Mario. G Fuel cup. And I just Hello, got Mario. I got complete undistilled gamer grease down my fucking down my craw. Yeah, yeah. Pie. Also, hi. Hi. I am I am a mushroomy boy, and I'm small, and I'm tiny. He sure is, and I'm gonna introduce him here in just a second because him and I are gonna be doing shit tonight. We're gonna be doing stuff. But first, where am I? Where am I? Hmm. See, where's the long boy? <laughs> I need to I need to recover from the gamer grease that I just shoved down my craw. Uh, do you know where the long boy is? Point to the screen if you know where he is. Oh. Hey, there he hey. is. Hey, hi everyone. My name's Travis. I'm the president of the Long Boy Club, very large enjoyer of all things gaming, wrestling, other hyperfixations, and my stinky cat. Tonight, we. <laughs> yeah, Melody, you need to play that at the beginning of every stream, and that, like, summons me. <laughs> That like that like brings me into existence. That like that helps me recover from the gamer gunk. Uh but no, right now we have my lovely mod one ponytail in stream. Uh we have Marshall. We have we have the Ocean Stars, which I haven't seen for a while. Hopefully you're doing okay. And, and Soulstone. Soulstone is right there too. The long feller has been summoned. I am the longer feller right here. Um uh Accompanied by my shorter funger friender down here. Um, funger? Funger. That's funger? Bonger? Am I just like a... A bonger? Your kid I'm, named Funger? I'm, I'm... <laughs> named funger. Your, kid... Your kid named Funger? <laughs> oh my god. Hello, Mario. I was gonna make a bug snack joke, but that was even better. Oh, hey, there's Madam Gloria. Hi. Hey! Hey, Hi. babe. That's my girlfriend. Hello, hello, Toads, <laughs> Toads GF. By the way, uh, right, uh, everyone here, everyone here, um, this right here, who I'm gonna be, I'm uh, doing a fun video game thingy with tonight. Uh, his name is Agent Toad. He is one of my earliest friends in VTubing, hello. and we've been meaning to like do shit for like a while now, and we're finally mm. doing it. Finally, today is the day that we're doing it. I didn't expect to be so dwarfed in comparison, though. Like, gosh. I'm the long boy, dude. I dwarf everybody. <laughs> I can't help he do, it. He do. I, everyone dwarfs me. I'm like, what? Three feet? Two, two foot seven? You're, like, smaller than the average toad. <laughs> yeah. Smaller Hi, than the average toad. <laughs> toad, toad is a I short just, shit, lol. Yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been punted by this individual before. <laughs> Literally. Which one? It, it, Which one? I, it, Ocean it was, Stars or someone yeah, else? They drew me being punted by them within like an hour. It was funny. That's awesome. It's, it was <laughs> hilarious. I was like, my, I was like crying tears of joy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to go into the fucking sharing screen, but first I'm going to get some music. Hey. Can I, can I pets your ears, long boy? I do have a pat redeem. It's called serotonin, I think. Mm. I have eight thousand points, or, so I can demonstrate it. Or just pat the wrath. We call it. We call it the serotonin Spare dispenser. Serotonin, please. Observe. Serotonin, please. Everyone, everyone oh is God. redeeming serotonin. Hey, Lily. How? Well, I'm gonna need that serotonin. Want me to ping you the drawing of it so you can see it? Sure. Spare serotonin, please. Yeah, you know, the fun thing about the serotonin is that if people redeem it, like, in quick succession, it, like, activates the serotonin and then it just can make- and then makes it go away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, sharing screen. Hello, Mario. <laughs> oh! Uh-oh. His eye. Goodbye. Ow! Fluffy <laughs> Necky. Hello, Mario. <laughs> Tried to take through all. Hello, Samu. Thank you, agents, for reporting and supporting my buddy Stev here. Because I Hello. see a lot of y'all in oh there. Gosh. That makes me very happy. 
Oh my god, we already got Gitsy. We already got a Gitsy. And of course, we gotta we gotta introduce your guys to the main attraction of my channel. It's not even me, it's Turbo George Wood. Yeah. Shockingly inferior game. I there, think we've said it. half of my community about knows about this because <laughs> we've been kind of gross viewers, so PlayStation title I seems like think a lot of people of will be thrown time. the heck out. The graphics look unfinished. The tournament mode I knew about Gitsy before Caddy made the, the video, control. actually. Sting. I learned about it through... I learned about it through um, uh, Ding Dong. For jumping. Oh! Uses See, I never watched Oni Plays. That explains why. Begin with, it is well, he didn't even talk about it too much when he was on Oni Plays. Why, 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 why is this a redeem? Why not? It's Why not? Listen. This right here is usually reserved for the people who are subscribed. This right here is the ad break that they get. <laughs> oh God! Funky, complex, hard to memorize. I love making it my routine in Steb Stream. Are required to perform even. If no one got me, I know Marshall got me. To simply stop running, you must press R1 rather than just letting go of the control pad. While we're doing this, I can at least get this shit set up. Give me a second. Which gets a one on a scale of ten, makes the entire game worthy of the scrap heap. The quest mode, where you explore a three. It's either me or another user. I forget their name though. Heck, Ashley to loves to redeem Gitsy like anytime oh, she yeah. can. As you they must my on occasion, <laughs> and once you die, you die. Ashley's really cool. One life, yeah, for sure. It. Getting back to graphics. Is this the whole video? It sure is. He has like how many? I have like 21. I have like 21 Gitsy videos that it randomly picks every time you every time you redeem this. So loudly. It randomly picks one of those videos and it plays the whole thing. I literally have to stop what I'm doing and watch it. Well, maybe never, but I don't think we've ever played a game this bad before. It seems Square is truly square. In the head. Head. Blockhead. Square. Blockheads. Head. Okay, that's our weak attempt at a joke. But that's what I'm gonna. Don't use play this, this game. game. Don't, don't even, even look, look at, at it. it. The game is totally unacceptable for even die-hard street fighting fans. You see this There's VTuber? We can say. Don't he stream him, chat. Don't even no, look God. at him. The game is too short as well. I'm just gonna as call. I'm just gonna call already. Square Blockheads. <laughs> whatever they fuck character. up in the industry, which is like all the time. We're just like all the time now. I mean, what? How could you not? They're like seriously. They're like career Blockheads now. Yeah, it's like half oh of what they do is like good, but then like, oh, this is the Akira Tariyama one. Yeah. I just now realized. Yep. I actually want to play this game. That is some Akira Toriyama sound font, though. That is the Akira Toriyama sound font. I did not know that was a thing. That was indeed a thing, and apparently George Wood says it's stinky. Mm, rest <laughs> in peace. <laughs> Anyways, chat, this is uh, this is what we're doing tonight. How's it looking to ya? How's it sounding? It's a bop. Certified hood classic. Shh. Shh. He's silently admired. Hello, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even silently admire it. <laughs> because 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 new people come in, I'll get like into it, and then I'll just hear, Hello Mario. <laughs> It'll just break that up the groove. It'll break up the flow. Self-inflicted, my dude. <laughs> it is self-inflicted. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hopefully y'all are having a a good weekend. Hopefully y'all are having a good weekend. <laughs> I know I am. Uh but yeah, uh, me and Toad, uh, we're gonna be playing some fun shit here uh, this evening. We're gonna be playing Pikmin 2 Co-op, not the battle mode, not the arena thing. We're playing the campaign of the game in two players. Uh, and not only that, but there's even more silly shenanigans involved with that that exactly. isn't just playing as Almar and Louie. Yeah, exactly. It gets even crazier. We'll show you how, we'll see how crazy it is. What the fuck? Ocean Stars with the, with the two month sub. Thank you very much for your donation to the Long Boy Club. It will not go waste. It will not. It will not go to waste. <laughs> your donation to the club will not go to waste. But yeah, um, two Toads viewers. I may as well just kind of tell you what I'm about real quick, and then I'll let. Actually, no, Toad. 
Um, you oh. are the, you are not the host of the stream. I'm gonna let you tell tell folks what you're about first. Hey ho! For those of you who don't know me, name names Agent Double Toad Seven. I am a variety streamer, mostly Nintendo oriented, and I play a lot of different genres: RPGs, retro games, indie games, fighting games, puzzle games, platformers. You name it, I'm into it most of the time. And on my channel, I'm all about bumping good vibes as me and my fungus force go through the battlefields of life together, through the good vibes and through the bad vibes. And we chill. It's awesome. It's cool. A lot of people say it's chill and it's really, I appreciate that. So, and I like Pikmin. I played through all the Pikmin games before 4 came out and I 100% totally legitly beat Pikmin 2. Wink, wink. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's what chat's saying right now. I'm seeing it. Uh, no, that is disloyalty. <laughs> that's 100% what chat's saying. From, from traitors within the fungus force. <laughs> <laughs> One ponytail doesn't even know you, and she's like, sure, you should. You should, though. Toad is... A toad is really nice. Um, and I've seen his stuff. I know... I know that he um, uh, works really hard. I know that Aww. he's really, really fun to be around. And I feel like, especially if you enjoy um, uh, Nintendo stuff, that will be something that you will really, really jive with. So. Hell yeah. I appreciate the praise, buddy. Yeah. <sighs> that was my turn. games that are released on the Switch. Uh, no, <laughs> uh, more lies and more slander. You also play stuff that's on the Wii. <laughs> <laughs> I play Steam games sometimes, okay. And then other times, I don't have you, anything else but a Switch. And then a quarter of the time is is some um, uh, spent. I'm uh, trying to get me to play um, Advance Wars. <laughs> there you go. Which is uh, me, yeah. I I would I would like that to happen with other people. <laughs> Never well, heard of this guy. <laughs> am I good to kind of do my pitch now? Yes. Well, right. first off, I need to. I need to address the stinky cat in the room. Hi, Henry. Oh. How are you doing? Henry's my cat. He'll sometimes just walk by and then, and then like bite my calf muscles, and I need to like <laughs> give him head pats to like quench his thirst. Hold on. <coughs> Hi, Henry. There he is. That's my that's my little demon right there. There he is. <laughs> He, like, literally waits for me at the door, though. He's like a dog. <laughs> no, anyways, um, like I said, I am the large enjoyer of all things gaming and wrestling and other hyperfixations, but especially wrestling. If you spend any time on my channel, you will know that I'm a huge mark. I've been a wrestling fan ever since I was 10 years old. Uh, the majority of what I stream is wrestling related. Uh, right now, especially, we are playing WWE 2K24, and where I am taking a completely original character and um, uh, making a legend out of him and that and that original character is him that right there that is my pony oc who is also a wrestling pony shining wizard shining wizard and we made him in in 2k24 and the story that we're telling with him so far is actually incredible it's been very 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 fun so far um other times we'll create like villainous alter egos of wrestlers and have them become uh become um um uh, uh wrestlemania ruin <laughs> uh wrestlemania um uh ruining terrorists uh we will f <laughs> we'll fucking um uh <laughs> we'll fucking do a lot like of um uh, chill streams where i just kind of flex my wings a little bit whether that be with things like um uh, duolingo or um <laughs> or pony gusser or just kind of like weird shit like this um uh, these are the kinds of streams and where i just kind of say you know what Let's see what I'm capable of, and then, uh, and then I bring um, a Toad on here, and then we play as Morshu and Pikmin too. Uh, and I got Mike Wazowski by Ponies OC. <laughs> you you did. Completely. You did get Mike Wazowski. <laughs> bro, just fucking casually Mike Wazowski's me. How dare? But yeah, um, we created a lot of really, really, really cool. Um, <laughs> we created a lot of cool um uh, wrestling OCs. Um, uh, throughout the years, whether it be the um, uh, Giraffe Mutant Gira or Henry the Cat, and where I just take my cat and put him in the game. Um, <laughs> it is very horrifying. It's very I scary. Call that one. 
it was very, very silly. It's very scary. Um, um, eventually, I want to sort of um uh, go back through and play like a lot of the more retro wrestling games. So far, I've been doing the SmackDown vs. Raw series right now. We mm -hmm. are on uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 next. Um, I'm going to play um, a Day of Reckoning at some point. I'm going to play the N64 stuff at some point. Probably modded, because uh, the N64 stuff is better when it's modded. <laughs> We're going to play, like, pro wrestling on the NES. Oh, no. <laughs> Which is generally a fun game. Pro wrestling on the NES. It's not even like WrestleMania. It's it, it's pro wrestling. Yeah, it's like it the like black box sports games. Any way before any WWE license, there was just like a bunch of wrestling games back then. I think wrestling ones came around. Wasn't there some in the Super Nintendo era? Oh yeah, definitely. There were like a bunch of them. Uh there was ones from um uh, WWF and WCW. There were a couple of, like, um, uh, Japanese-only ones that have gotten mods throughout the years in order to, like, localize them and bring them to the States. Uh, I would do that. My cats do wrestle. <laughs> my cats do wrestle. I don't think they would stand a chance against Henry and his beans. Mm, probably not. And his beans of um, uh, destruction and doom. Beans of fury. But yeah, if that sounds fantastic to you, um, feel free to follow. I try to stream at least um, uh, twice a week. Uh, last week, I streamed three times, and we played a bunch of Pony Guesser on stream, and I got way too hyped over trying to- over trying to guess the correct, um, uh, Pony episodes based on screenshots. Pony Guesser? Yeah, yeah. What it- it- what it essentially is, is that it gives you, like, a screenshot from, like, a random episode of French Biz Magic, and you need to, like, figure oh. out, like, what episode it's from. That's um, uh, fun. Based on the fucking screenshot. And I could do that with some cartoons. I bet I could do that with the Mario Super Show or something. Mm -hmm. if, if if such a thing existed. I mean, I mean, you can make it. <laughs> I can make it. I can't make shit. <laughs> I'm not very creative like that. I'm creative at words. Also, sorry I've not been responding to um, uh, chat too much. Hold on just a second. Um... So if Cody loses again this year, how much of Philadelphia do you think will be up in flames? I mean, I'll be up in flames. I'll be done with wrestling. Yes. <laughs> I'll be done with it. <laughs> I won't. But, uh, I'm, I might be. I might be. Now, did you ever hear about the Hulk Hogan gag manga? What? Huh? Oh, hold on. Oh. 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 Hulk Hogan manga. Oh. What the fuck? That exists. A Hulk Hogan manga. Hulkster, I choose you, brother. What? What is this? That... I'll always be ready for you. Hoax Hogan. Four. Is that King of Fighters? 30 possums in a trench coat follow. Thank you. You're now a member of the Long Boy Club for Life. I appreciate you amazing, being here. Amazing username, by the oh, way. I know, it's great. It's great, ain't it? Uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm seeing, okay, chat? Give me a second. Find my shit. Where's Opera? There Hello, is. Mario. <laughs> Hi, Ashley. I wouldn't mind The Rock Hello, winning Ashley. this. He's been putting in some solid promo work. The Rock should absolutely lose, though. He does not need that win. Although, The Rock in, like, WWE right now, because, like, he's... He's back for, like, Mania season, and it feels, and he's not phoning it in. He's, like, actually, like, actually feels like he, like, um, uh, gives a shit about wrestling again. So. There you go. So it's actually really fun right now. There's a moment in the Hulk Hogan gag mana where Hogan's penis turns into a literal snake. Well, I'm not showing that, brother. Uh, yeah. I don't need the cobra cock on my fucking stream. <laughs> I don't need that shit. That's fine. You can you can keep that to yourself. Uh, but no, like, The Rock has been doing a lot of solid work on Raw and SmackDown lately. He's actually like one of the best parts of it right now because he's like involved very, in like the main event storyline. I'm so. very interested in that particular image on the screen that says Hoax Hogan, and it oh. looks like it's from like by a King of Fighters or like Saturday Night Slam Masters or something. Yeah, that. 
This? Yeah. I'll Hoax always Hogan. be ready for you. What the fuck? What is this? Hoax Hogan. Hulk Hogan American. was one of the. F yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. I know about wrestling, dude. What okay. is this game? Since the 80s, he's made a mark on the wrestling industry and on pop culture as a whole, being the subject of many um, uh, um, uh, exposés, parodies, and homages. World here. Oh, I've heard of that one. Including That's during like the That's like a 90s. really obscure one. Yeah, Lumi got the title of the game. It's called World Heroes. World I mean, Heroes. Oh, they're an SNK fan. That's why they know this. This has already gone to a great start. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, like, this is how my streams usually begin. It just like begins with me just like doing, doing bullshit. I love doing bullshit. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Common traits of these XBs include. First of all, being a pro wrestler, a big, strong, muscular one, or at least can fight as well. Oh, 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 I get it. So like um, the Hogan. idea here is like when they're like paying homages to Hulk Hogan. Yeah. These are generally like the tropes you want to go for. <laughs> there are a lot of wrestling tropes in SNK games. Um... Freaking Lumi, what's the name of that guy in uh, KOF 15 who's got like that, like, he's got like the champ's belt, he's got like the cowboy hat, he's like blonde, long haired, buff as fuck. Let me tell I you something, brother, I'm in- Forgot his name. I'm in King of Fighters on the Neo Geo. Or maybe <laughs> I'm not, dude. Antonov. Steph, look up Antonov. Antonov. Uh, Antonov, Antonov KOF. Look at this- unit of a character. Who the hell is this fucking jobber? Let's see. The Neo Geo Jack. <laughs> he, I, every time I see this character when I play this game, I think of you. Because I know, like, how much you, I'm like, this is just, like, the wrestling <laughs> guy in King of Fighters 15, in the franchise in general. It's crazy. Let me tell you something, brother. When I'm playing the, the King of Fighters on my on my I'm a Game Boy Color dude, I'm always playing as Antonov. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always playing as Antonov. You know, the one with the leopard mask. <laughs> no god. Legitimately though, I'm always playing it. as the man from King of Fighters. See him, oh dude? His name is King <laughs> of Fighters, Jack. <laughs> or maybe he's not, brother. <laughs> Gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> this is like that time that I saw Max Dude playing uh, Tekken, and he's like got like King in like a Luffy outfit. Like, oh, hey, it's Goku. <laughs> 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 it's got that energy right now. <laughs> oh god. You know something, brother? I if I wasn't thinking twice, I would think that this guy is trying to rip me off, dude. Or maybe he's not, Jack. I'm gonna go crash my car, BRB. Why? Why are you gonna go and commit vehicular manslaughter right now? Because, I don't know. Right before a giraffe he, step stream, cringe. He just driving crazy. Cringe and blue pilled. In fact. Blue pilled. <laughs> like so many Tiger Mask, Anoki, Vader, Hansen, and Brody ripoff characters. A lot of them like to reference Tiger Mask, especially because like just like the um uh the um uh um uh the um uh iconography of Tiger Mask is just so iconic. Um, uh, Toad, are you, like, sort of, sort of, um, uh, familiar, like, with what I'm talking about? Or no? Oh, yeah, I, I think. Here. Like, I've, I've, I've played Tekken, and I love, like, King is actually my, oh, I've never seen this. That yeah, is yeah, like, what uh, this right here is Tekken. Tiger Mask. Okay. Yeah, yeah, That's that right cool. there is Tiger Mask. Tekken. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Like, literally, King is a reference to, to Tiger Mask. I so. love King. I main <laughs> King. I always play King in every Tekken. And I don't know how to play him most of the time. I know how to <laughs> giant swing, though. 
Who you kiss on Valentine's, dude? Me, giant tree. <laughs> and may you live happily ever poor, after. Poor, my poor, poor bird buddy. King is the goat. The goat. I, I mean, like. King. I mean, with a face like that, how can you say otherwise? I mean, he even does, like, the Hulk Hogan finger point. He has never spoken a single line of dialogue. He just roars, like, all the time. Incredible. He never, never. He never ever breaks character, brother. He has been that way since the first game. He always... He's always one to protect the business, dude. Never I ever love, break character. I love kissing trees at 130 miles an hour. No way, dude. Me too. <laughs> oh my god. Sam is like one of my best friends, by the way, so if, if they're a little unhinged, uh, that's just normal. How did- How the fuck do we even get to this conversation of, like, kissing trees and stuff? Like, like when did this start here? <laughs> like, when did this happen? Uh, it, 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 that's just how it, how it be. Fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, that was interesting. That was yeah. an interesting rabbit hole dive. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I'm always, I'm always Nothing into shit like a this. Cool refreshing sip of oh. water. Hold on, I need water. That's just my baseline. Mate. Yeah, that's that's just him. It's it's not us. It's just bird, bird <laughs> being bird. And here I thought I was gonna spend like the first thirty minutes talking to you about game prices and stuff like that, because some of this shit is just it's just uh, ridiculous. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw it yesterday, uh, but I, have I went not to like been on Twitter. I went to a game store, right? Oh, I saw that. Yeah, I came. I I rated. Explain. In and I saw that. Explain. <laughs> explain this chat. Explain eighty dollars for this shit. <laughs> I don't think you can. I don't think you can in the year of our Lord twenty twenty four. I don't think you can. That's nothing compared to one of the greatest Dragon Quest games of all time being worth two hundred dollars on the DS. Dude, I saw something at the same store that was worth exactly that much. It was PS4 uh, Godzilla. Uh, it was yeah, worth yeah, $200. Retro markets are stupid. Also, another reason I can yell at Square is how the DS games for like Dragon Quest and stuff aren't available. They never put them anything. And then he'll be like, Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster would be like every single game. And they'll remake all the other ones and put them on everything. Dragon Quest? Nah, never. They don't put on nothing. Makes me angry. It's a good thing ROMs are free. I mean, like, listen, man, the more the more time goes on, and I know that this is probably gonna sound a little weird to just say with my whole chest. I will stand up on a soapbox and say this. Statistics show that most people who pirate games also consume games yep. and they buy them. Yep. It's not the fact about piracy it is the availability of games i mean the more i see shit like this the more amped up i am to you know take up seafaring recreationally let's just say yeah yeah the more uh the more i want to go yo ho hoing and seafaring and all that shit so yeah uh i mean nintendo will like you know be like upset that people aren't buying <laughs> are buying their stuff with one side of their mouth and then and then and then like only release the same 20 games over and over again with their other side so yeah i will say the game boy advance virtual console is a nice step in the right direction but it's so slow slow dripped out that it's like oh nintendo does it they've been they've been doing this for almost 20 years now it's like actually insane if you want people to like buy your stuff Provide your stuff. Like, it's like it's not hard. It really not isn't. Not hard at all. Not hard at all. But you know what's also not hard at all? Uh, uh, me, because I'm asexual. But also... Mm -hmm. Oh, God! Actually, oh, no. Oh um, God. Asexuality is a spectrum. You can, you, can, you can still have a libido. What the fuck am I saying? I need to move on. Uh, <laughs> Pikmin 2. Pikmin 2. Is usually pretty hard, actually, when you're playing on your own. But now that I have my friend Toad here with me, it won't be so hard. So, yeah. I'm a Pikmin 2 semi-expert. 
He's a Pikmin 2 pal, you could say. <laughs> I also can't see the game. Oh, well, hold on. Let's see if you can see it now. Yes. You are the one that can see John Cena. It's break time. Where the heck's the Cheetos, my dudes? Raw rolls on, or rather, Raw begins after this. Heckin'. I just enjoyed the username three possums, or rather, 30 possums in a trench coat. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I've seen this username before. Or I've, I've seen a, a name that's similar to, like, creatures being in a trench coat. Alright, Ashley's gonna, gonna throw the ring. ring I'm gonna stand so for hey, her. Hey, you got this. Ah, you suck! You suck, Ashley. SMH. You suck. <laughs> Anyways, can I run another good scene real quick? Ow. Uh, yeah, might as well. Oh, Hopefully yeah, you bet. Longer than two minutes. Watch, I'm gonna get Toy Story. <laughs> it seems as though the battle. Oh, my God, is this one? It's even better. PlayStation will be directly related to players' choices between Super Mario 64 and Resident Evil. These games are the beachhead of their respective systems, but which is better? It still well, just makes me chuckle. Point by point. What? Mario has camera motion during gameplay. This play, is just but Evil like has it during the hands -off you would scene. think that it's just like, Evil oh, this is silly, that's goofy, and they would never. And this is just new. video game Mario discussions nowadays. <laughs> like. Actually, the comparisons that people the make with the most like non comparative so games is Super Mario ridiculously wins by a close call. <laughs> it's more visual and <laughs> fair, I'm like, evil. However, 100% fair. Knowledge, I don't hear no Mario being compared to Resident Evil, yet. but yes, I do. Mistake, and we do in fact, get your point. It's not just yeah. the graphics that players want. The Nintendo 64 it's is like, still very I can't even though. think of a recent example. Om nom nom. Oh, excuse me, we're back, my dudes. So hey, welcome back to Raw. Welcome back. Today. Please. We still have to wait oh. for the 64 DD mm. and as Long Boy Ets. This disc drive add on will be used in the N64. Long Boys, of the Girls, and Bees and Ages. What's going on with Sega? Well, listen, what is going on with Sega? That's a good question. Um, They might be cooking. But they simultaneously, actually, the weird shit they've been the doing with Apple Arcade, arcade is like, Paul. It's a little weird, but you, but you know what's also Saturn. based? Saturn That's, yeah. they're now the home to like one of the first, um, um uh, game dev unions in the industry. Well, so, you are kind of breaking up. True, then why aren't you on they're now you home to one like of the first game dev unions in the industry. So, solidarity in the game industry. Let's fucking go. It's got a modem. I hear that Dreamcast might be decent. It's got a modem. I love how in that, I love how in the video you could see Sonic Extreme. And when he says, but what's going on with Sega? Oh, I don't know. One of the heads of the fucking team is dying of like a fatal disease almost, but he ends up surviving, which is wow. good. But like they get like deathly sick during the development of Sonic Extreme. I would legitimately buy a console from Sega if they ever did that again. I would be keeping tabs on it. I would not, you know, dive into it immediately. But I've always had more of a fondness for Sega's games over Nintendo's. I I enjoy on the oh, Nintendo buddy. games, but I think that Sega's like, you know, um, uh, um, uh, history is more interesting in terms yeah. of, like, their game releases than Nintendo's. Like, only they could really hype up their new era, new energy, like, marketing that they did recently with a bunch of stuff that people find familiar and fun. Like, also, if you Nintendo just go throughout their history... could not really do that, honestly. No, no, they're a little too sanitized. But, like, mm. you know, just even going throughout, like, Sega's history, I think that their best games are not... I mean, like, they're not as obvious, right? Yeah. Like, everyone knows Mario, everyone knows Zelda, everyone knows... <laughs> everyone knows, um, uh, Pikmin and shit like that. Uh... Who knows Streets of Rage or Jet Set Radio? But, like, not as many people alive. know about, um, uh, Jet Set Radio. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, again, um, uh, Streets of Rage or Shinobi. 
or but their influence on or gaming Saga culture or, is very loud. Yeah, yeah, it like, is. Jet Set Radio was big on the the music side of gaming. Space um, 5, Streets of Rage. Yes. Streets of Rage is like a big influence for beat 'em up games. Virtual et cetera, Fighter, etc. Et yeah. yeah, Virtual Fighter. It's hard for Virtual Fighter to really have an identity anymore amongst a lot of like popular fighting games. And there's also the um um uh um uh, racing games like um uh, mm. Daytona USA and shit like that. Daytona. It's really really weird because like the more kind of like readily available version of uh, Daytona, it like obviously has it has like it has like um a vibrato that was added in post production. <laughs> Oh my god, but, that's funny. Like, hold on, hold on. I know I know that we're delaying this even further, chat, but I just need to show you. ADHD, All right. be like. Yes, yes, exactly. Ooh. ADHD exactly be like. <laughs> Daytona USA. Like, listen to this. If you haven't already listened to it. <laughs> like, listen to it. It's literally in post. I'd spend dad's money on a new Sega console. Just slip the credit card out slowly and quietly. We know you wouldn't do that, homunculus. You would just buy a bunch of Bag and Bones Cheetos again. Don't lie. There's like one in where he like actually like shows off his um uh, vibrato. I need to find it. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like. It's been 45 minutes, XWX. <laughs> it's that one. I think it's this one. Yeah, that's the one where he actually is singing. This one. Hmm. What the fuck? I'm trying to get the guy here. Burby impatient. Well, here, listen. I'm gonna fucking post- Ow! Okay. I'm gonna find it here in, in a little bit, and then I'll post it, like, in the server. Uh, speaking of which, I got a Discord server. We're gonna watch WrestleMania Nights 1 and 2, and we're also watching My Little Pony Friendship's Magic in there. Uh, you should join it. It's fun. We talk about wrestling, we talk about gaming, we talk about whatever the fuck it is. I'll- I'll, I'll talk about, like, Superman ice cream there sometimes, which is the best ice cream. Uh, oh yeah, I've had that before. Go and join it. It's fun. Uh, I am Burby. Burby's run on a faster time frame. Well, listen. He does the same thing in my streams. It's fine. It's a normal Burby. Okay, thing. got it. But you at know, this at this point, point, I just bonk him, and I you bonk his bean. I bonk his bean. I tease him. Anyways, Step on up and <laughs> we gotta make we gotta make usernames, Todd. Yes. Can you move? Can I? I can. Yes, you can. Ah, Rumi, you suck. Ah, you missed. Or maybe you didn't. You owe me ten bucks either way. Where's the O? Stove. That is. Or as you might call it, uh, giraffe rigged. Yes, exactly. Yes, we fucking we fucking talked about that last night. <laughs> we talked about giraffe rigged last night That's on stream. Not my original joke. I don't know who it was, but I'm not stealing it. I don't know who it was either, but that person is king. I gotta go back and, like, do it. I am now stove. It's legitimately got a 2% chance. I did set it up Hello, so that Mario. you do have a 2% <laughs> chance of fucking getting it. Stove and Todd. I'm now stove and Todd. The title <laughs> of your... The title of your new... Um, uh... Um, uh, 90s, um, uh, buddy comedy. <laughs> although, instead, <laughs> although instead of going to White Castle, we're going to Waffle House. I would never want to go to White Castle anyway. <laughs> Check out this amazing character roster, y'all. I'm got... including all of your favorites, um, uh, and all of your favorite Pikmin characters. Like, uh, let's see. Old Man Jenkins. Mike Wazowski. Uh, Breadbug. Uh, uh Raz. And Morshu. <laughs> Oi, in the and, corner. Uh, Ugandan Knuckles. Oh. Uh, old Club Penguin. A uh, Pepino Spaghetti. Pepino? We also have Master Shake here. 
Well, I actually kind of want to play. Oh wait, no, no, that's uh, that's Mr. Broccoli. And then there's Chunky. We can Anyways, do um, uh, Moai of Knowledge. Here. I am obligated to be Toad. Of course. So, oh, chat. No, Raymond. <laughs> If someone isn't playing as a Vaporeon, I'm getting violent. I kind of want to see what a Vaporeon looks like. But also, Old Man Jenkins. Why is it only the red M&M? It's Pick Hacker. Actually. Oh. Pat277. I'm looking that up. Who the fuck is Pat277? I think they're one of the developers. Pat277. We got Raymond. Chunky Kong? They are. Because the first thing I see is a YouTube channel. That's Strong Bad? With a curb. Strong Bad, yeah. It's like, Chad, am I playing as a crewmate? <laughs> am, I, am I playing as a crewmate here? Is that what's happening? Is it? Is that what's happening? Also, hello there, Doom Slayer. Thank you for, for joining tonight's Long Boy Club meeting. E. The most combat. Hey guys, did you know in terms of? Did you know that in terms of like competitive play, uh, th uh, the Among Us crewmate can beat the the best um uh, Vaporeon in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I didn't even say the whole thing. I don't even know the whole thing, but I would say it because I'm that type of person. We can also do more shoe. Yeah, more shoe is what you tried out before. It is, yeah. I do kind of want to do him. Ah. Not in that way. Uh, <laughs> do him. That. We all yeah, know that Torchic is the best starter. I could also be Rayman. I mean, like, none of these even make a lick of difference. I'm just, like, yeah. spending a bunch of time here. I'm just gonna be the crewmate. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna be the Among Us crewmate. Rain- Rain Man. Rain, Rain Man. Man. Exactly. Alright. Speak me! This Hello, title Hello. screen is so fun. Hello, Mario. I love how you can make them separate. I only like learned that you can do that with the shoulder buttons like <laughs> like an hour ago. <laughs> oh really? I've done this for a while because when Pikmin 2 came out, I didn't even have the game, but I always had Chico books that told you how to do these silly things. Well sometimes a bull board will come around and just wreck your shit for no reason. <laughs> yeah, Here. I think you have to summon it with a button. Oh, can I? Mm-hmm. But the it's like I'm like fucking around on the title screen. That's that's always a good thing. Welcome to the um a giraffe step stream where we hate video games actually. Oh god. No. Hello Mario. Hey, Casimir Dub, how are you doing? Cutie <laughs> a cutie patootie detected. How are you? How are you doing? Okay, Hi. what does what does B do? What does B do? What that be do? What the dog doing? What, what the men doing? doing? What the bowman doing? I love that giraffe crashing through the window is real. That was me when I was like five years old, dude. <laughs> oh god. I actually went to like a zoo where that where that happened. Although it wasn't with a giraffe, it was like with a buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Where's, Where's the bomb, bomb rock traps? Uh, somewhere. We'll find them. Just give us a mm. second. Or give us a couple hours. I remember there being like voiceover for this part. Was there voiceover? ever voiceover? Uh, no, no, it was. I mean. Oh, wait, there was. Voiceover. Oh, it's wait. Yeah. yeah no. Their language. Right. Well, no, no, I mean, like, in, like, this, like, little kind of monologue setting us up. Oh! Oh, Pikmin 3 was voiced. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, that was the one. I played Pikmin 3 again, like, not too long ago. I played it's, it for the first time. It's pretty cool. I don't think it's as good as the first one. Uh, I just think that 3 is a little too easy. But, like... I think 2 is overhated. I think 2 is one of the best ones, honestly. Because 
it's like a perfect balance of like challenge and um fun mm. this place looks like the fucking um uh world in like the first fallout game it's I've very i've said that so many times and i've never played fallout this is very crpg-esque here <laughs> Gen 4 is all around Maybe trash. No, do not say these things. You'll think of me when you are all alone. I love, I love how this guy pantomimes a little bit. Me when your 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 mom <laughs> found you through recommended. Really? Hell yeah! That's crazy. I love the freaking fr like farty horns. Gen four is just all around trash. I mean, it's not the one that like um a giraffe rig came from. So I agree with you. <laughs> there you go. Lethal Gen company two. lore. Lethal co <laughs> lethal company. <laughs> I love how many people mentioned Pikmin when the legal company came out. Hello, Mario. It's a connection that I never made. The Venn diagram between Pikmin fans and lethal company fans is a is a circle. Unless mm. <laughs> unless you're lumping me in there, in which case it's a slight Venn diagram, because I don't like <laughs> lethal company as much as most other people do. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of the same. I don't mind playing it, but it's definitely not something I will play every day. Your guy is not that big of a horror person, chat. It's why I've not really streamed Lethal Company. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because I don't want to be scared when I'm playing video games, generally. That's fair enough. It is pretty have... scary. <laughs> yeah. It actually is kind of scary. I mean, I know that there are mods to make it less scary, right? Yeah, like the... The, the 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 arachnophobia mode. My my favorite thing about the arachnophobia mode is it just takes out the spider model and just has text that says spider. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the one. That's not the characters we picked. <laughs> spider, spider. <laughs> Why didn't they have a spider model in this in this ROM hack? Actually, no, like, there are spiders in Pikmin. There are spider-esque enemies in Pikmin, so we could find those. Oh, ten, ten tons of them. Alright, here we are, chat. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> See ya. Spare serotonin, please. There I go. Yeah. Hey, thank it's you for the void. serotonin. Toad is now dead. Yep. Sorry, I, I, it was nice collaborating, but I, 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 I'm dead now, so... I look like a fucking Roblox character. <laughs> <laughs> well, you and I have played this before, so we know what to do. Yep. Well, of course you use Among Us. You didn't actually use Among Us the first time. No, I did I used... <laughs> I used Mario, and I was, like, comically smaller than Toad. And then, uh, before and then I chose you streamed, you tried Morshu. I really should have just, like, gone with Morshu. Speaking of Morshu chat... Have you seen the video in where he just reads the entire Bible? Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> I still my god. <laughs> you like that routine? Oh, I love it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Freaking Come! Just like, Come! <laughs> my brain will just be like not thinking anything and then all of a sudden, oh my god, come! I really do just look like I was made in Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> you, it awesome. kind of looks like that one with the lips, honestly. <laughs> You know what I'm talking you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do. Among us. I'm gonna look it up. Among us lives. Okay. It? it just kind of looks like that. <laughs> oh my god. 
Where's the one where it's like nineteen dollar Fortnite card? Nineteen dollar Fortnite card. court. I do. <laughs> I do look like the fucking lips though. Oh my gosh. What? Yes, I'm giving it Wait. away. Share, share, share. And trolls don't get blocked. <laughs> <laughs> the little Amokos fits too well with the Pikmin. I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> he kind of does, though. Like, he doesn't yeah, look out of place me. at all. He just kind of vibe in there. I like turning to all of them saying, okay, a $19 Fortnite card. Oh What's it? The first one to kill the Bulbor gets the $19 Fortnite card. I need to see the game again. So, oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. I go um, off on tangents. Give me a second. That's all right. Where's it Pikmin? There it is. The best of us. Funny, funny, but also sad story. I, Mr. Block you actually went through a lot of ordeal to be a meme and then try to be a content creator. It's actually kind of sad. He was like homeless and shit and like left his life or like had like a, a bad relationship with his wife and all that. It was actually kind of sad. Is that like the fucking uh, is $19 that like... Fortnite card guy? Oh, yeah. I watched the whole like video. Oh my god, I forgot this. Can we just hang on this for like a second? <laughs> no worries. Please. I need oh, this. That. Speaking of, <laughs> remember the eyes? <laughs> I forgot about the eyes. I like the idea that Toad just has like four. He's got like two third eyes just hidden in his cap somewhere. Oh my gosh. It's awesome. All right. Go get that $19 Fortnite car. Ah! Game. Ah! Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, I apologize. But right. I'll just say game whenever I can't see it. Okay. I want to be assertive. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to be able to see my view of it again. Mm hmm. There we go. Do you mind? I'm trying mm -hmm. to. I'm trying to kill a guy here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we found out why that happened. It's the inside of Toad. <laughs> That's like the X-ray. X-ray yeah, vision. I think, I think this is you. There you go. Push B, it'll go by faster. This whole stream is running in Roblox. You're running in Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how fucking long his fucking arms are. The lanky fuck. <laughs> the eyes are so the eyes are so fucked. Oh my god, dude. This is gonna that is curse. Oh, is my controller not working? No fucking shot. Again? Oh. Oh there wait, there it is. Here. I'm gonna get my guys to carry this. Oh, Attention. This is not even applicable. Toad, the model was a bit. The mm -hmm. model was a bit. There ain't nothing bitty about this model, buddy. It's just base. What is this? His arms aren't long enough to box with God. Me, I'm God. It's not. It's not long enough. Oh, absolutely. I'm God. The God of the God of Long. <laughs> Get out of here with your tutorial ass bullshit. We got treasure to find. <laughs> the crewmate portrait is so fucked. <laughs> no, <cost. laughs> <laughs> I really, Which is about as equally comical as the Toad one. I really, I really do just, I really do just like how, I like how I have no arms. <laughs> I, I don't have even no have arms, but I must throw. 
I don't- <laughs> I mean, look at Toad, especially. Like, look at how he runs. Like, zoom in on him. Look how he runs. Uh, how do you zoom in again? You gotta press the right on the trigger. <laughs> hey, no, 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 hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> that gives it long enough to box with Stev. I'll fucking suplex you, bruv. Like, neck suplex. <laughs> so fucked up that you have to wait for me. No, I do. I actually do need to, like, wait for you. And I'm getting... why can I not get this pellet? I'm getting my steps in, go. don't worry. <laughs> that was a neck out. I gotta practice being the imposter. Just stay on the move. <laughs> I'd hate to fight you in a ladder match. I don't even need to climb a ladder. I'll just reach for the thing and I'll, get... and I'll go grab it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I got all the mins. Unlike the crewmate. I'll break the back and make humble. Yes. And now, a word from our sponsor. Product <laughs> placement. Oh shit, does that mean that I don't need to run an ad? Let's see. Yeah, you're, you, you got that Duracell money. Hold on, let's see. Nope, I still need to run one in six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that long stack of dimes you call a neck. Stack of dimes. This is the subsidian, my friend. I for some reason can't move again. It's like it, it was fine until you clicked away, and I now I'm not able to move. There we yeah. go. Is my controller just like not able to move? when the screen is not clicked onto? I think that's what's happening, yeah. <laughs> that stack of times you call it, Nick. Alright, let Let's go me... ahead and go down a fun slide here while I wait for you. I'm here. Oh. Oh, oh. Puzzle arrived. Hold on, I need to come over there and I need to... <laughs> Whoa. I like how Toad has no reaction at all. <laughs> Imposter Red and Toad. It's such an unlikely duo. It is... It's the heroes we have. Not the ones we deserve, but the ones we've got. <laughs> They're the heroes we have. The heroes we have. That's funny. <laughs> You must feel assured that your combined wits can do anything. This will be kind of fun. We need to fucking, uh... Oh, hello. Hi. We need to, like, divide up our men, so that way, uh... Uh, yes. Uh, let's start by getting the battery, though. Alright. Which... Well, first off, we need to get more guys. So, so we need to carry the bullboard back, and we need yeah, to. Yeah, you're right. We need to get more Pikmin here. I already propagated everything that I could over there, so okay. the only one that you have is that, and that's really it. This one. Yeah, we're not gonna get enough for that. Man. Okay. Well, we gotta come back. That's another meant day. to. That's meant to be gone on another day. You're never supposed to get around that one the first day. Mm-hmm. Or so product placement. Hell yeah. Got a bit of a headache, but new. I may be back. Yeah, thank you for coming by, babe. I appreciate you. Thank you. I Much appreciate love. it. Wow. Right, let me speed this up a little bit. <laughs> You're pushing it yourself. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. In the onion with you. Me when I slave drive an alien species. <laughs> Please. Wait, wait. How do I pull up, guys? Here, let's see. Um, 
Yeah, no, no, I know, I know, I know. I just want to see how the want to see how the crewmate does it. Oh, <laughs> he so fucking does god. it with his mind. Oh god. Cool. All Hello, right, Mario. Hey, DJ Pony, how you doing? Welcome to tonight's Long Boy Club meeting. We're about to oh, hopefully yeah, buy our way out of a fucking out of a fucking uh. I have a fucking ad time. I'm gonna carry this uh, Duracell over to to Mr. to Mr. Bezos. Mr. Bezos. To Father Bezos. And hopefully he'll smile down upon me. That's crazy. You know, if he gets it today. The bootlicking is real. Let's go! Have you ever stared inside the gaping maw of Bezos? You don't want one to see it. Battery. That's what the new one feels like for the uh, the Switch version. It kind of just feels like it's brand new advertisements. <laughs> wait, wait, did they actually it's, just like fucking... Uh... They just genericized like pretty much everything. Oh. There's well, no product placement anymore. I mean, like, you know... You know, I kind of prefer that because, like, it kind of adds to the world building a little bit if it's, like, something that's not just battery. <laughs> yeah, I liked it, though. I still want to get the physical version, though. Because then I'll have, like, every Pikmin game on Switch. I have physical versions of Pikmin 1, 2, and 3. I got... Right. I even got three on both Wii U and Switch, <laughs> so... I wish I had anything Nintendo from my childhood. But that's a whole other sad story. Oh. First day of exploration has yielded our first treasure. Our first treasure. Uh, it's almost time for a 120 seconds minute Cheetos break. That wasn't my enough for you, Bezos! Mm. Greedy fuck! Fine. Enjoy your battery. <laughs> God. Come on, Toad. Yep. I'm gonna use the, the, the percentage that I've earned from this to, to to buy my measly portion of food for the day. I feel like you should invest in covering your whole head on the ship. <laughs> probably. I'm probably <laughs> going to die of oxygen uh, deprivation and um, you're gonna, like, lack of... You're gonna freeze to death as we go up into the atmosphere, dude. It's like straight, like, like horror movie shit. Just like, I freeze instantly and die. <laughs> 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 so that Duracell kind of threw me off. Not sure that many, not sure that many, um, uh, um, a real, um, a real world brands would uh, want to put their stuff in a game setting that depicts an abandoned Earth. I mean, I mean, they did it back in 2004. What makes them not want to do it 20 years later? Well, you see, because they'll be, um, uh, implicated into humanity's downfall. <laughs> Oh god. It's 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 the state this this game is just the state of capitalism and its eventual decay. As we'll soon see, it's it allegory. wasn't as you'll soon see, it wasn't the warheads that took us out, it was seven up. <laughs> seven up and Duracell. Oh god. <laughs> I knew I should have invested in triple A. <laughs> in triple A batteries. My god. Not the big D ones. One of my it's favorite... It's break time. Where the heck's the Cheetos, my dudes? Raw rolls on after this. Mm. One of my favorite, like, underrated things to do when I stream this game was I liked to just read the descriptions of the treasure list. I liked reading the creature, um, uh... Yeah, I did both. Um, uh, biographies. Because just Olimar's notes are just incredibly intelligent. They are. He's like a college professor, and I, even when I was like a teenager and I played this game for the first time, it was just like I could tell he was like super smart. And I always liked it. I like how he it gives like, him like, um, <laughs> um, uh, Paleolithic names too. Yeah, it's really cool. This game has its own biology, Very and not enough people appreciate the fact that these people made. A fictional biology system. It's really no, cool. No, no, it's really cool. This would have never happened with Energizer. 
They should have oh, invested God. in fucking alkaline, dude. Get those Kroger alkaline batteries, we would have been set. Mm -hmm, gosh. Although initially identified as a juvenile red, red um, uh, bulbor, a groundbreaking new research indicates that this creature is, in fact, a member of the breadbug family. A close relative of the vanilla breadbug, it escapes, um, <laughs> um, uh, um, uh, predation through, through mimicry. Unique adaptation of the red, um, uh, bulborb's crimson coloration allows the species to safely, safely, um, uh, commingle. Such effective, su such effective, um, uh, adaptation and obfuscation, um, uh, <laughs> Um, uh, by a prey species is rare, indicating this clever creature is a master of mimicry. It's always something you don't think about. You're just like, oh, these are just other bulbars. Om nom nom. Oh, like excuse me, we're back, my dudes. Hello. Welcome back to Raw. And plus Nutrio. Oh, it's weed family. It was always fun to read these and when I when I stream through this. Oh, it is. It was like, like look me, at this. It was like a little ASMR like portion of the game. I did the same when I played Pikmin Four. He wrote like a little novella on these weeds. <laughs> Welcome back to, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's still one of my favorite sounds of all time. But what oh. the pufferfish? Squawk. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Our first treasure. Remembered how to salvage it. I can't understand their adorable language, and I don't know what they're thinking. Yet I'm so happy to see them. When I crashed on this planet, the Pikmin helped me locate my missing ship parts. In my darkest hour, the Pikmin were there for me. Now that I'm reunited with them, I know everything will be alright. It will, right? You can actually like, move around the camera here. It's cool. Mm. This is what the fuck. We got oh, like doubling geez. over batteries. Here. That's interesting. Uh, hmm. I don't remember this from the Wii version. I don't remember that e ever <laughs> from any version. We're going back Trying to, to get out and play around with the camera. You're too busy reading his. You were too busy reading his, like, college thesis. No, oh, yeah. Alright, we gotta land in the area now. We gotta go find 7-Up. The Bane... Up? I don't remember when 7-Up happens. 7-Up happens either in this area or the next one. Bonk, bonk. Well, do, 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 do. Come on, chat. Every single time we enter... You gotta play this. <laughs> I did not hear that. You did it? Have... Yeah, because I, I had Discord muted. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I played like the match. Yeah, I Star saw thing you play it. Us. I saw you play it. I just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good morning, workers. Ready for another day of toiling for the company? Abba, 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 abba. The we love the company. The company. Pikmin 5, <laughs> escaping, escaping Cleveland. Cleveland. <laughs> Find the imposter. Skibbity Riz. <laughs> it says next with a stack of dimes. It'd be so many dimes it could pay off the federal delt. It could, it could pay off the federal debt. It really could. They got like ten of them. Um. And then I'll have. Oh. Oh, that's oh. weird. All right. Why did they give me two and you eight? That's weird. I think what happened is that we were, we, <laughs> is that we were both under the onion. Oh, okay. So there you go. so you move. Yeah, I know. So you get out the way. That way I can move, take. Bitch. Get that way I can, uh, oh, get my guys. Okay, take an extra one. Oh, did you have an extra? Yeah, I have 11. Oh. Once we propagate enough, we won't have to worry about it too much. Yeah. 
Yo, Almer, can you pay off the U.S.'s $300 trillion of debt? Thanks, bud. If only paying off the U.S. debt was as easy as just traveling to a distant planet and getting things that are worth millions of dollars. A desolate planet and picking up, like, batteries and, like, soda pop caps and Honestly, fucking breadcrumbs and shit. The concept of Pikmin 2 and Lethal Company and the way to get money, I would rather do that than do anything that involves our U.S. government. I'd honestly rather do I this would... than most jobs, yes. Yeah. Honestly. Uh, no, my job's pretty cool. I don't get too much fuss. I'm yeah, lucky, we gotta, though. We gotta, like... We gotta get more of these guys over there. Mm. More men. Need to cultivate Time. the army more. Time for the Pikmin to become Pikmen. <laughs> Is that what the happens when they get the pollen? Arvitzma. Is that what happens when they get the pollen? God. They always sound so, like, sad in this game. That sounds just normal. Hmm. Sounds good on paper, but you better hope you're ready to risk your life to pay off to pay off on the depths of your own. Well, yeah, but at least I get to see cool. At least I get to see cool like wildlife, right? Hell yeah! Like, look at that guy over there. He's cool. He probably won't try to bite me, <laughs> right? He probably That's won't try to eat me. Well. Yeah, yeah, it's like educational content. This right here is the content that you subscribe for. I'm taking I my want, 20 here. I want, like, the YouTube video of, like, the actual biologist taking apart Pikmin lore. Lethal Company, what is good, Scooby, to chillin' on the weekend Scooby. like usual? Watching SpongeBob and Scooby Doo Be Doo. She took the wire. <laughs> I have no idea what this is, but I. It okay. sounds fucking hilarious. <laughs> There's a fucking thing that I like to reference on stream, and it's like, it's like a really, really, it's like a really bad um uh, rap verse, and it's like chilling on the weekend like usual. Watching SpongeBob and Scooby Doo Be Doo. She took the wires to my PlayStation. She doing too much. I didn't wipe oh my. my butt, I just pooped and got up. She oh had my. the cutest daughter, so I went to pick her up and I almost tossed her because she really kicked me right in my nuts. I oh had my. to put some ice on them. <laughs> I feel like I've heard that last one. It's somewhere. so funny. <laughs> because, because, because like the producer is like sitting at the laptop, he's giving them the thumbs up and as the rap goes on, he's just like looking at him like, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, so stupid. <laughs> it's the funniest shit of all time. It's great. All oh right. boy, we got uh, the big, we got the big bulb over there. We got the big boy. I think Aim we can for the legs. I think we can get him. All right, you start getting its butt. Actually, no, I'll get the butt, and uh, you start like see sticking around its legs. All right, all go. Right. Fuck! Oh, that was not optimal. All right, well we got. Uh, all right, all right, we, we're about to get them back. It's fine. Now, we, we is, is that is that how you see life? The life of these soldiers that sacrifice their lives will just make more. Yes. What kind <laughs> of sick, twisted mind do you have, Stev? I've been corrupted by the company. Oh I am. God. I am. I am evil, Stev. Hold on. Stev. I am evil, Stev. That's crazy, bro. Kind of reminds me of that brawl in the family comic where it's just like Fire Emblem is like Fire Emblem generals be like, hey, I oh I I want uh let's fight this battle bravely and uh what what's true each of us get home safely. And it goes to advance wars and it's just like, oh uh, hell yeah, if any of you guys die, I, I can just buy more troops. <laughs> I mean, like, listen, 
Listen, is they <laughs> listen? Are they wrong? Just no, buy more troops, all. buddy. Or are you stupid? The funniest thing about is Advanced he stupid? Wars compared to other like war games is that it kind of just makes war into a game. Yeah. The commanders are like Pokemon trainers. They're just like, oh, hey, uh, general uh, guy, uh, w w let's battle our, our troops to the death for fun. <laughs> and like, you got like the rival who is just like, I cannot wait to just, battle you again. They're all just like, hey, it's me, Goku. <laughs> You're gonna fucking. <laughs> Oh my, they, they really do. Hey, it's got me, that Goku. Stadium, Let's just see how strong your army really is. It's so, so fucked up. I wish I was exaggerating, too. That's genuinely how the characters interact with each other. My god, I want to play Advance Wars now. <laughs> They're just like, hey, like, <laughs> we have like the rival character who's just like, oh, hey, let, uh, let's have a rematch sometime. That's fucked up, dude. No, it's legitimately what happens. It's so, like, we oh. only need like 35 of these guys here. So, like, yeah, I'm gonna I... have exactly 35 of them carry this pack. Yeah, I'm, and then uh, the other ones well. I have here, we're gonna, we're gonna put them towards um, uh, breaking down the wall here. <laughs> we're the United States. We're of gonna course, put we have 1.7 um, uh, trillion down dollars to spend on military equipment. We're gonna put them on the wall and let like all of the and all the immigrants in. <laughs> Oh god. Listen, it was it was on the mind. I'm just brave enough to say it. <laughs> uh I mean we have been we have been on this, this interesting tangent. We've been on like the cursed shit all night long. Why why stop? <laughs> We're the United States <laughs> to spend on military equipment. And more Pikmin, obviously. Because mm. the Pikmin are the military. They are. You are the ones that make one. all this happen. I'm just, I'm imagining like a, like an edit of like, <laughs> of like Uncle Sam, but it's like Captain Olivar instead. It's like, <laughs> I want you to fucking join the Pick Pick Corps. That's funny. I'm sure something like that exists. I want you to join the Pick Pick Army. <laughs> You know what, Samu? That just makes me think that Pikmin in general Utter just scrap. like they kind of just genuinely have a thousand yards stare like all the time. No, oh, they do. Like every every single like human esque subspecies just like just like looks they look so like petrified all the time. You know? It's funny. Whether it's the Hoko Tates or the um uh, Kopai people, you know? Where's the Pikmin cover of Everlong? <laughs> All right. Uh, Have you heard the Pikmin cover of uh, of Blink One Eighty Two, chat? Of course, I. That, the Samu has like Pikmin, a billion times. Pikmin, 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 Pikmin. You got all your guys, right? Yeah. All right. I think we can go in like this. My favorite, my favorite version of all the small things is the one where it's like a guy just like deadpan naming off like SpongeBob characters to like the yeah, melody. Yeah, SpongeBob, to. Patrick, Squidward, Sandy. <laughs> it's the funniest thing of all time, and my I fucking. Think my roommate played it when I was when I was like making my like custom ring for like Hope Miss and it, and it hit the chorus like when John Cena was running down to the ring. So now whenever the chorus hits, I just think of John Cena running down. It's like a guy being like SpongeBob Patrick, Squidward Sandy. No, my God. <laughs> Also, wait, wait, where the heck did my Pikmin go? I think we left them behind. Because, yeah, I think it was because I went in with my amount. Yes. Yeah. And like the game saw that as that. I'm sure it's fine. We're yeah, yeah, they're fine. They'll be okay. 
Oh shit. Oh wait, wait, hold on. We're fine. Oh, are you like just like sniping these guys? Lots of shit. Incredible. Um, I was about to say, like, get those guys back. Incredible. Orang. I like the Super Mario glitchy. I like the Super Mario 64 sound font covers of songs. I, I enjoy do. like listening to like whole fucking albums that are like in the sound font of <laughs> of like video games and stuff like that. Okay, I got that guy. Hey, there's a. Oh seven shit! Up. Ah! There you go. How to get that one hit wonder, bro? One. All right, I'm uh. I'm corralling my Pikmin over here to pick this up. What the fuck? Here, how about this? We get all the corpses out of here first. Make sure that there are... Make sure there's no trace. And then we'll go and pick up our treasure. And we'll go and take our haul. Yeah, I we love get to see the funny uh, message that it receives when it's like, Ew, what is this? This isn't treasure. <laughs> How can you possibly consider this beast a treasure? Beasts are compatible. <laughs> beasts are incompatible with my circuitry. I suppose I will store your finds in my hold, but I do not think that such beast will be worth much. I mean, dude, we're bringing back like indigenous species. Indigenous species. We're like bringing back like the native species back home. This will be like a huge get for like scientists, you know. Hmm. You're just not going to take advantage of that. You can, like, sell these for science. Take this back to the capitalistic hellhole and do what you do best. Watch out because... <laughs> watch out because I'm a toad can see John Cena. <laughs> he is the one that can see John Cena. He's the one that knows Victoria's Secret. He's the one that knows what the dog is doing. He is that guy. He's him. He's him. When he goes into the gym, treadmills do push-ups. Oh, God. He's that out, guy. Out Pizza the Hut. He can out Pizza the Hut? <laughs> Don't we ban bringing back biological material on flights for a reason? Well, yeah, but what about space flights? Ah. Ooh. That's... That's untouched territory. <laughs> Monkeys don't properly sanitize. Which is why you gotta make sure that you're properly treated before before the treadmills do push-ups. Alright, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. All our Pikmin are coming with us. I think they come anyways. Well, yeah, but, like, we left, like, 35 up on the surface. So, like, I was thinking... <laughs> I was thinking, like, if they're, like... You know. Nothing beats a cool, refreshing sip of water. Oh, oh like, I, I think even if you don't, like, have them by your side, I still think they come down with you anyway. Okay. Final floor. Samu, that's what happened, right? Because we, we, we had that same dilemma in both Pikmin 2 and Pikmin 4. You, they come down with you no matter what, right? Oh, do not! Do not go after him! Just go in there... Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, that happens. Yeah, don't have the AI of uh, Pikmin 1. Yeah, yeah the uh, AI of Pikmin 1. Which is yeah. fucking... Hey, cool. It's a map. And the map, and the map, and the map, and the map. Where's the other part of the globe? Maybe we'll find that later. Also, I need more mints. Got, got bombed by the fucking... Uh, Got bombed by the fucking uh Russians. By the fucking seven up people. Oh um, hold on. Take it. We didn't have the, we didn't have Mountain Dew in those days because of the war. You were arguing that making more Pikmin than were on the field would waste your resources? What? Classic. That's not what I asked, Samu. I asked if oh. Oh, no, oh we need purples. Yeah, Oops, we I need took the all the mints. <laughs> all they all they know is getting those gains. Get over here. 
All right, let's go and find like, let's go and find the purple men, and then we'll come back and get these know guys. If they're on this floor, they might be. I mean, they should be. I don't know why they wouldn't be. Oh fuck! Oh. You sneak up on them and you one hit them. Well, I know that. There you go. Like if they don't like see you first. Well, I guess we both fucked that up. It's about to say, or we can just, like, you know, I'm gonna dive bomb them. And we walked five miles for it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go and, like, I'm gonna take the corpses off the battlefield. I'm alright, I'm alright. It's the Pikmin you gotta be worried about, Sax. Mm, gosh. We leave any men behind here? Why, Why would dew from a mountain be colored green? Because... Because we didn't... America! We didn't, we didn't have the clear dew in those days. Because oh, of the God. war. The only ones you could get were those weird green ones. I've been thinking about the Grandpa Simpson thing and where he just tells a story that doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> That's gonna be me when I'm like 80. I, like I already feel like I do that now. Like the time I had to take the ferry to Shelbyville, I needed a new heel for my shoe. So, I decided to go to Morganville, which is what they called Shelbyville in those days. So I tied an onion to my belt, which was the style at the time. Now, to take the ferry costs a nickel. And in those days, nickels had pictures of bumblebees on them. <laughs> Give me five bees for a quarter, you'd say. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. The important thing was that I had an onion on my belt. <laughs> that is literally just me. <laughs> That's, that is 100% going to be me when I'm senile. <laughs> I constantly, That's... constantly think about what, like, millennials are going to be like when we're 80 and it's going to be fucking weird it will be just grandpa simpson <laughs> except Fanta we'll all be talking about like gamecube and like the, the old <laughs> 2000 like american dragon jake long cartoons we used to watch it's like fanta it was garbage and they came to like it fanta's actually the worst yes in fact, orange soda's the worst, just in general. It's bad, it's terrible. I don't like it very much. I like orange soda. What? I said, I like orange soda. Oh. Well, you know, I like you too, Toby. I don't like orange Shit. soda. <laughs> wow. <laughs> grape soda, though. Oh, what, like him? Yeah, like, look at this grape soda-ass boy here. He got that strong by drinking nothing but grape soda. Oh, wait, yeah. who wait who loves orange soda? Toad does. Yeah. You well, got like, a problem with that, Lemmy? Well, like, just, like, drink orange juice at that point, right? Uh, I mean, it's better for you anyways, and it tastes better. I, as somebody who has a digestive problem, I don't drink orange juice as much as I used to. Fair enough. It's too acidic. Which is really weird because, like, you know, you would think that soda would be even worse in that regard. Oh, right? it is. But I think that anyway. soda would be like even worse if you're, if you're, if you don't respond well to like, you know, um, acidic it is food. Anything anyway, but for orange juice, it's just like that's just like a weird special hell. Citrus and dairy do not mix. Have you ever tried drinking like juice right after you brush your teeth? Yeah. That stuff is probably Everyone like has. a war crime in some countries. You don't want to do that. If citrus and dairy do not mix, then what the heck is orange cream? Hmm. You know what? I'll slam some fucking um, uh, dreamsicles, though. Oh, Those yeah. Good. All the time. I'll slam some friggin' dreamsicles. There's like a now. there's like a a, a a creamsicle frosty at Wendy's, and I wanted to try it sometime. <laughs> Sam, it was like people gonna say dreamsicle is good. I'm one of those people, I guess. <laughs> and me. Well. Well, Samu, um, uh, does that mean that you're not gonna follow the channel now? I think he's already following you. 
baby. I don't know. I want them to feel pressured, but no. I will it's, say. All right. Their strike say, is inbound. <laughs> Does that airstrike include a follow to the giraffe of Twitch channel? <laughs> <laughs> Samu's out. unfollowing sell now. Out. Out. Man's a sellout. Samu is not I... following. No. Got window. I'm not moving. <laughs> Get betrayed, Burby, for the last time. Oh. Well. There's never a last time for me. He betrays me all the time, so I can, I can just do it in return. It's just like a game at this point. Incredible. You should exploit the decoded territory tomorrow. Hmm. Alright, uh, quick. I can't move. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, and like, you, I have... can't, you can't move when I clip out of it. I'd rather click out yep. of it. Mm hmm. Let's make you this hard with the earth. You go ahead and you can take your. Oh, I don't need anything. We found everything, so we might as well just go now. Yeah. Okay. I think we. Found I love everything. how they like have like little. <laughs> they have like a little victory ditty as you like move. I love it. They um. They do the one in uh, Pikmin Three, I think. I don't four? think they. I don't think they do anything like that in Pikmin 3. In 4 they do, though. I've not played 4, actually. I've been meaning to. 4 is fun. Uh, that's you. Oh. You found it. So yeah, I, don't I know. know that's... why it's me. I don't know either, but that's what it's happening. 4 does exist. You shut the buff up. I can't move again. It's almost time for a 120 seconds minute Cheetos break, my dudes. Alrighty. Well, once we wrap up this particular day, I'm going to take a short break. What the hell are you talking about? What the hell am you I talking about? Oh. No, same oh. <laughs> I just... <laughs> We're just sitting here like I'm talking about taking a break. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> There's no, no, stop speaking. Because we've been going for two hours. <laughs> I will duct tape your beak. That just needs to be your new punishment. He doesn't like... He doesn't like, um, Ochi. <laughs> Meanwhile, everyone else thinking Ochi's is like one of the cutest things ever. Wait, wait, is Gitsy all out? I literally... I mean, like, the last one that we redeemed was, like, hours ago. So I don't know why it would be out. This is you again. Oh, I know. I don't have a beak. Oh, I thought you said I don't have a break. Just pluck out Samu's feathers. <laughs> Bald. Bald! Bald! <laughs> And now this is me for some reason. We just said uh, trade off the workload. That's so weird. This is animal abuse. This is not abuse if you, if you have the antagonistic action first. It's self-defense. Now this is animal abuse. Oh, what, the Pikmin or just you? Yeah, uh, him. Oh, true. That is true. <laughs> Pull out my trump card. It's actually just a card with trump on it. With this <laughs> mugshot. That's the ultimate trump card. Engages Texan powers. I literally <laughs> saw, like, a fucking ad at, like, the gym, right? Uh -huh. I, s I saw, like, an ad that was for, like, this for like a number that was like, call now and you can order like a dollar, a, a, f a fake dollar bill uh, <laughs> that has the Trump mugshot on it. And I'm just like, are we really this far gone? <laughs> Is there really no hope for us? <laughs>
doesn't sound far gone. That sounds far progressed. I'm thinking that there's just no hope anymore, dude. It's over. It's cooked. It's, it's over. I gotta stomp a mud hole and walk it dry on the person that thought that that was a good idea. <laughs> Speaking of good ideas, it's time to take a break. Uh, no, it's been really fun so far. Uh, I've been having a fun time. Hopefully, we can keep this going for a little bit longer. Hell, hell yeah. But I need to go and stretch and take a pee. So, Alrighty. We'll be back in a few minutes, y'all. Alright. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to the Yo. shit that we're doing here. Uh, so. Back at it again at Krispy Kreme. <laughs> back at it again with the white vans in it's... Awakening Wood. Let's go. Let's go. Awakening Wood? Uh, uh, uh more like a <clears throat> uh, furry. What the fuck? What are you doing? Are you I had my I had my furry awakening in Awakening Wood. <laughs> I don't know. I did. So I mean, like, display. listen. I mean, listen, listen. So did I. So did I. No, oh, gosh. <laughs> Happened years and years ago. Just please you know, the purple Pikmin are lodged safely in my hole. The confines of my interior seem to suit them perfectly, though they do occasionally tickle me. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and get some of our purple people out. Purple people. Purple people. There they are. Uh, and I'll get twenty. I'll get like twenty of these guys out for me. Or you can, Oops. or you can steal some of them. <laughs> I hate that system. It's so annoying. I need to be like standing like fifty feet away from you, in order for it to, in order for them to not come to you. And controller gone. Oh, sorry. So, so never mind you as well. <laughs> what the hell? What? Lily, <laughs> really, as all were instructed you on the, the yeah, color no, boost no, no, based no, on no, color, no. yes. We fucking know. Alright. You're gonna grab your you're gonna grab your purple men. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I'm in the middle of messaging. Alright. Boop 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 boop. I used to say 60 on your end, but it says like 55. I got like 22. Weird. Okay. Cool. Uh. This way. Yeah, it's it's the the Awakening Woods theme is the one that they start humming in Pikmin 4. Just cute. Oh, it's cute. All right, are we gonna like? Absolutely. <laughs> they, they didn't even wake up from that. Um, oh shit, I accidentally stole all your guys. Here. That's right. What the hell yeah. <laughs> Whoa, I'm spinning. Hello, Mario. I'll go. Th I'll go the Raftman. They're going well, my friend. Hopeful. Hello there, Dark Raven. Hopefully, you're doing well. Thank you for coming to tonight's Long Boy Club meeting. Oh shit! I got this one Pikmin who's just not cooperating. <laughs> hey, Nectar. Whoa, that's a lot of nectar. I'm gonna, I'm gonna punt these fucking these fucking small beans over here. Mm. Is this me? Uh, yeah. I think. No, no, it's yeah, like it's both weird. of us. That's weird. It's fine. I just had to refresh. 
And by the way, your title and category is still the 2K24 stuff. It is very much not. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and reset. Okay. That should not be the case. And then they get these the fuckers to eat everything. You gotta corral them. I know. I'm over here uh, and I'm uh, gathering more... More facilities and more soldiers for the fucking for the guys here. Straub. So what's this one called? Sunseed Sun berry. berry. Which is oddly what they also called it in three. Ten percent of debt recovered. That's me every time I make my paychecks. Me when I start paying off my college debt. <laughs> oh my god. 10% of debt recovered. I'm like, I'm just picking up so many of them now. That's, that's legitimately me getting a new phone. Oh uh, yeah. Oh it's right. It's the onion getting clogged. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Which I didn't find out until I started streaming it and Pikmin fans were telling me what it was that even when you propagate and you have like the maximum amount out, you'll still propagate them in the onion. Yeah. <laughs> they just don't pop out. Yep. That is what happens. Even if you run out. Oh. Oh, these are like the power berries here, yeah. Oh, Stev, I found more nectar. You should bring your guys over here. So you can make them strong. Thank goodness there's no interest on this debt. I'll be over there in a second. I'll be over there in a second. I want to make sure that I get these berries over there. Uh, are there bombs? Shit. <clears throat> we gotta it's cultivate the beauty. strength berries. Are we gonna... <clears throat> Play through Pikmin 2 like, like as, as a series, or is this like a one shot? I feel like that this may be a one shot, unless unless we can provide a miracle in our schedules. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm thinking it's probably a one shot. Probably because of a time thing. Yeah, yeah. Extra berry. I just vanished out of existence. <laughs> Strawberry. <laughs> oh, ultra spicy spray. You know what happened when I played Pikmin 2? I went through the entire thing without getting uh, uh, ultra bitter spray. Really? Because I didn't activate getting it somewhere like early in the game. Oh, so it never appeared. You oh, have to activate it at that one point in the game, or you never get it. Like, ever, from anything. Man. It's so fucked up. And people are like, oh, you gotta use the, the bitter, you gotta use the bitter spray strats. And, and I'm they're like, just I like, what the it. fuck are you talking about? No, I, like, I knew that, I knew that that was a nice strat to, like, take down bigger monsters later on, but simultaneously i just never got it also could i have some some boys I need some boys yeah, 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 some, boys. some boys also grass over there grass over where right here underwear uh no. oh yeah yeah baby that's where i'm at right now that's where my brain is at that's where my fucking mm. brain stem is at right now drink Drink the juice. Drink the piss. <laughs> Drink piss. <laughs> legitimately, Dude. we don't have an. Legitimately, we don't have any more guys to power up. Nothing Over beats a cool refreshing sip of water. Speaking of sipping piss, you said strawberry with the same accent that my friend that my family does. Yeah. What's that? Uh. Extra berry. Extra berry. Or 
Straub. Nothing beats a warm, refreshing sip of piss. So true. Oh, God. So true. I'm, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna like cultivate more of these berries, real quick. Yeah, fair enough. So I'm assuming we both have access to the the ultra spicy spray at the same time. Yes, that's probably yeah. it. It would be interesting if we both had one that we each had. Well, like if. If we use it, then it's just used on, like, all our Pikmin, right? Maybe. That's an interesting proposition. Or is it just, like, Pikmin within a certain area get, like, strength? We will strength? find out when we have something huge that we want to face. I can't talk right now. I'm making piss. <laughs> I'm making piss. <laughs> What's that Duke Nukem YouTuber? Is it Giorno Giovanni or something? I don't know. <laughs> the guy who does like the shit ton of fucking Duke Nukem edits. <laughs> your two sexes. The one I had with your mom. And the one I had with your dad. <laughs> oh, I, I just you stole all, all the guys. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yes? You want. You want fact, guys? Uh, he does not know what Ultra Kill is. The guy who voices Gabriel from Ultra Kill. Wait, wait, we got. My dude, we even got like Vassal. Whoa! Ah! Uh, Orpal is dead. Man. Rest in peace, Orpal. Rest in peace, Orpal. <laughs> Oh gosh. We need, like, I don't know if we have enough. Maybe. I think the one that we just lost might make a difference. Or not? Nope, it doesn't make a difference. Okay. I should have been more careful with our guy. Oh shit, I forgot about ah! the green reserve! Ah! <laughs> ah! No! No! No, wait, you gotta let it attack you. And then it bonks itself. And then it bonks its beam. Let's go. I Let's go. I poison these guys with whites. We just kind of keep trading our stuff back and forth. I really wish there was a smoother way to do that. That's probably... That's probably why the multiplayer was only in, like, battle mode or something. Yeah, or maybe it was just, like, the limitations or yeah. something. Because they did that in, like, 3. It's not like they never wanted to do it. I'm gonna link a video in the, um, uh, Discord. Told, uh, you told me if it's the same piece as one point in time in chat. Alright. I gotta check my Discord server. Let's see. We have found oh. no treasure, I think. The treasure is easier to find in caves. <laughs> we, my dude, we even have Carmax here. What the I heck is with here? What the heck is the product placement in this video game? I was not throwing things on here. I don't remember. <laughs> We want to try this again. What's up? Where did they say they put it again? What? Oh, they they put it like in my Discord server. Yeah, your Discord, but what? Hold on. I'm looking right now. Check it. Amazing ahas, maybe. Yes, it is at the bottom of oh, Flames yeah, and Oh, yeah, that's, that's the guy, yeah. That's the guy. <laughs> if you Incredible. don't play Duke Nukem, you like men. 
cool. <laughs> I also... Cool, you know what? That's based. I love him. Also, speaking of funny things, uh, look at the number of Pikmin that you now possess. Oh, it's... <laughs> yes, let's go. Alright, um... Ah! Uh-oh. Cave jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyways, let's not do what we did last time. Okay. What do you mean, let's which, not do what we did? Oh, okay, let's, I get it. Yeah, let's not separate the huge amount of Pikmin. I think you take my amount and go in. Okay. Alright, now go forth. Alright, let's go. Whoopee! We got the whole of beasts down here. We got the beast hole down here. That's too easy a joke for me, dude. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Listen, that's where I am on a Saturday night after I blew my load last night on fucking, on 2K24. Can you believe this chat? What this man's just saying on the website of Twitch.tv? I'm saying it with my whole chest. You mm, know? God. With my whole ass chest, I'm saying it. I feel that. I will unabashedly talk about my attraction to Monster. pretty much every female character in Paper Mario games. All right. Except for the only child, that being Watt from 64. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh... But yes, I, I like... Who, who doesn't like a good Vivian or Goombella? You like the big booby ghost. I do. I do. As would anyone. I, I do like I, I do like the plus size women. <laughs> An ancient and ancient toad, toad is based. Base. Hell yeah. Yes, yes. I always call Paper Mario Thousand Year Door the game where Mario makes a harem. <laughs> it kinda is. Cause it's not wrong. Isn't it? It kind of is. This is like every girl hits on it. Like, unquestionably. Is Mario Sword Art Online? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, I've never watched it's, Sword Art Online. It's Sword Art Online, but for Nintendo fans, yes. Name. The Stone of Glory. Stev, how do you encounter such base individuals on a regular basis? I don't know. I guess I just attract it, you know? I ask myself the same question, honestly. And it's I'm really only... just because of the company that I keep. I only know the ones that can see John Cena, you know? Oh, God. <laughs> That's like one of my favorite bits of all time. I will... I'll run that into the ground. I... I I'm the it. one. I'm the one. That can see John Cena. You know, I'm the one that knows Victoria's Secret. I'm the one that knows what the dog is doing. You know, I'm, I'm that guy. I'm him. Mm -hmm. I'm him. <laughs> that, <laughs> There's so many of these references of, to memes that are completely over my head, and yet whole, I still think it's funny. The whole fucking bit. It's, it's like a KSI thing, right? Because, like, because, like, in the bit, <laughs> because, like, I'm at the interview, it's, um, uh, it's, it's, um, uh, it's from, like, it's from, like, something that he said into a mic, like, um, uh, right before he had, like, a boxing match or something. Oh my gosh. And he was, like, talking all this shit. He was saying, like I said before, you know, I'm the one that could see John Cena, yada, yada, yada. And then he walks in there and he fucking loses. Oh, God. <laughs> he fucking loses the match after talking all this shit. After saying, when I go to the gym, treadmills do push-ups. The only thing that was doing push-ups is the fucking guy what that body him in, was... the, in the squared circle. <laughs> what year was this? This was, this was, like, last year. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> it's the funniest thing ever. It sounds like it. He always. just talks all this shit and then he goes in there and gets his ass whooped. <laughs> it sounds about as funny as Mike Tyson versus Logan Paul. Versus, Jake versus Paul. Jake Paul. Which, whichever Paul it was. I don't care at this point. I don't follow their shit. You want to know what's like the worst thing as a wrestling fan? What? Knowing that Logan Paul is in the WWE and he's actually probably one of the best guys on the roster. No fucking way. He's 
He's actually like annoyingly good at this wrestling thing. It's ah. He, I hate the balls. He's like the most annoyingly good wrestler of all time. That is unfortunate. I have no choice but to recognize greatness. All right. <laughs> no choice but to recognize greatness when I see it. I I I have choices. Well, you know, you know what, Toad? Some of us aren't so lucky, okay? <laughs> Let me think about some of us for a change. I I, I think about some of us. I, I can be some of us when it comes to the, the gaming industry. You gotta think about some among us, you know? So-called like free think- So-called free thinkers when a new F-Zero game comes out. Like me. I'm so-called among us, as you can oh, see. God. <laughs> So-called free thinkers when a new Web Zero comes out. Oh, finally, Nintendo's listening. Proceeds to not play it, and then oh my God. and then I'ma uh, justify why Nintendo doesn't make them. <laughs> That's just how it's been. That's how it is with like most fucking Nintendo franchises. If Nintendo fans and like you know, I'm obviously not throwing stones at you specifically, right? No. But if there's one thing I Nintendo fans are good myself. at, it's like asking for fucking games that they know they're never gonna play. You know. Yeah. I hardly do that, per se. Mm, I can't remember the last time I've done something like that, but I, I, I can practice such things. Like part of the reason why they don't make F-Zero games is because no one fucking plays them. And like, Play you know, them, that's- that, that is one thing that I can undoubtedly say that when a new F-Zero comes out, I'm there for it. 100%. Well, well you are in the minority, my friend, and I'm happy oh, for you gosh. if that happens. Oh, oops. Oh, now we find out what happens. Well, now they're really powerful. So, like, this will be good for, like, bosses and shit. <laughs> yeah, if only there was a boss. <laughs> that I, was near us. I did it. I want... I was, like, trying to, like, separate them into groups. How the fuck do I do that? Oh, there you go. Finally. Can I, like, not do this? Now they're all, like, really quick and fast. And it only worked for yours, too, by the way. So, yeah. that is definitely the definitive proof that that doesn't work. Can I, like, steal Pikmin from you? No, I cannot. It doesn't look like. That would be funny. We'll make our own competitive mode. Oh, God. I'm expecting these little chambers in the corner to have something jump at me. I'm, I know what the dog doing. I'm him. I've been him. I will continue to be him. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. Oh my god. It's so funny. Whenever, whenever Dark Raven goes to the gym, treadmills do push-ups. I forgot that there was a floppy disk. There was a Mahjong piece, too. Mm. Strife it's... Monolith. My gosh. Boomers when they fucking lose at Mahjong at Mahjong Night. <laughs> the monolith of Strife. That kind of reminds me of how I... Um... How I gamble in... Uh, Dragon Quest 11. I spent- I, I got to- because I've been streaming it recently and I've- because I've been wanting to beat more Dragon Quest games. Okay. Because of, um... It's almost but, time for a but, um, 120 seconds minute yeah, cheaters like, break my dudes. I spent like probably an hour Shit. testing my luck for, uh, gambling in- in Dragon Quest 11 on stream. It was fucking funny. I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not leaving until I get the big wins. And I did, I got huge wins. <laughs> it all Huge gains. Off. It was awesome. Asian Toad says, feel free to gamble. It's fun. Oh yeah, no, I- Wait, I wait, was, hold on, what's in here? I was nothing. making up, there's nothing in there. I got the, that was where the Mahjong piece was. Okay. But yeah, I, I did some little joke like that. Like, oh, hey, uh, remember kids, don't gam don't do gambling. <laughs> I think that'd be it. Asian Toad says gambling is cool and you should do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, it worked for him, right? Yeah. 
I, I got totally real uh, cash from this. Incredible. Situation. Toads regulars, can you can you corroborate this? Can you corroborate the huge gains that he in oh fact gosh. made? All right. Yes, incredible. Everyone be investing in it. Everyone be investing in crypto. Meanwhile, I'm investing my chips on um, Dragon Quest gambling. <laughs> on it. Honestly, a better investment sometimes. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I gotta get that I don't know G. Anything. For the, I gotta get that G for the poof poof, man. I thought you were gonna say you're gonna get that G fuel, and I'm just like, well, hopefully it's not that PewDiePie gamer grease that I chugged. <laughs> it's break time. time. Where the heck's the Cheetos, my dude? We're all rolls on after this. This is where I would usually kind of. Slow things down a little bit, but I'm fine with carrying on. Yeah, we got a we got on. a good cave. I have a lot of cave to continue on with. I have to say, we got a cave to kind of shuffle through. So, all right, I'm gonna make more more giant purple people Pikmin. Purple. No! I just turned purple Pikmin into more purple Pikmin. Oops. It happens. Happens to the best of us. How many did you do? I did like four. <laughs> oh, well that's unfortunate. I forget which one was the best to farm ones on, but I can always look it up. I have a terrible memory, especially nowadays. Oh, hey, it's Game & Watch. I always thought that was like a Game Boy Micro for a second. Mm -hmm. um, Dream Architect. I believe there's a micro, yeah, I, I believe there was a micro in four. Oh, really? Slight, slight treasure spoiler. So is... So does 4 have more of this kind of uh, dungeon quality oh, in it? Oh, yeah. Then? Well, it, yes and no. <laughs> it's not challenging. That's one of my gripes about 4. It's not uh, hard. Every every Everything that makes you afraid in this game is ridiculously easy to defeat. I see. It's mostly because of OG. I'd imagine like this is just kind like, of an Oh, you issue, don't want to like, use Ochi, but Ochi is like essential to like traversing to a lot of places, so can't really not use him comfortably. I guess that's just kind of my issue like with modern Pikmin too. Just like mm -hmm. it just it doesn't feel like there's as much of a risk to things. You yeah, know? that's why I like two a lot, is because it's still very challenging. I like one the best because like if you fuck up on one day, if you're not like finding parts every day. And like you lose a lot of Pikmin. Um, or you go... Oh, excuse me, we're back, my dudes. Hey, chat. I was just saying how I like Pikmin one the best because like there's there's a lot more stakes to like fucking up. Wait, don't. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, not yet. Oh, I, 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 I can't. Yes, you. Not yet. <coughs> I was saying that like I like it more because like it feels like there's more consequence. Like, if you fuck up on one day and you lose a bunch of Pikmin, or if you go, like, multiple days without finding parts, uh, that can really hurt you in the long run. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you gotta... It rewards... It rewards foresight and planning, so... Yeah. Which I like about it. Like, I don't hate one. It's just... I hate the stress that that brings. I also hate the AI of the Pikmin. Sure. I, it's so stupid. It's like the worst. I think that, you know, the hard 30 day time limit, I think that's part of the point, though. Yeah, no, I think it that's is. partly 100%. why I like it. Because, 100%. Like, I agree. You know, like, there's more the consequences to oh, fucking shit. up. I think this is the Empress. Well, this is where the berry would come in handy if I didn't fucking waste it. Oh, wait. I hear a honk schnew. Oh, shit. Yeah, this isn't the bad one. The bad one is the one that spawns the bunches of larva, but, um... We'll be fine, question mark? Right. Inside you, there are two wolves. <laughs> one snores like... And the other oh, snores mm. like... <sighs> me, 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 me. <laughs> God. Alright, I'ma do... Alright, wait. You, how do you want to tackle this? Like this. Oh, like that. All right, do you want me to go from behind? I would be careful, whatever you do. 
Especially because that happens. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh uh, shit! Rats. Ah! Oh my god! The Empress Ball Black Strats. Holy fuck! Ah! This I got him from the back! A lot of people up when they played this game for the first time. When Pikmin 1 and 2 got on Switch. Fucking you bastards get over here now. Ah! Holy shit! Ah! You gotta pull them back, they keep going. Oh my god! Holy fuck! That was insane. I have, I have proven myself the better Pikmin Wrangler. <laughs> I didn't realize this was a competition. Well, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just messing around. <laughs> I just know how to handle this boss. You actually are, though. Like, like more of your horde survived. Than yeah. Mine. It's not even by, like... It's not even by not like a even small by amount. A small margin at all. No. It's not even by a small amount. I led, <laughs> I, I led my guys into a death trap. Mm -hmm. I'm not very familiar with two. Uh, this is the one I've easily played the least. Uh, oh, okay. Because yeah, yeah, like you, the dungeon crawl. You gotta look, make sure you pull them back when it starts rolling around, because they will keep going mm -hmm. after it after they get tossed off. That goes for anything in Pikmin. Like if you're thinking oh, yeah, if, know. if your victim get tossed off, they always like try to go back and especially in the earlier games that can be a pain in the butt. They don't come back to you. Hmm. Oh we got the treasure tracker. Hmm. Yeah, I fucking hate the AI of the Pikmin in one because they're so like unmanageable. <laughs> like they're so aggressive. One of my things that I kept doing in the fucking, uh, the forest naval was I would grab, like, a bunch of bombs and then, like, I would try to, like, throw them over, like, a cra like a, a, a small step to get the yellow Pikmin up. And I'd take the little geyser up to them and then I would, um, I would whistle to them or something and then, like, when I, when I do that, they drop the bombs and they blow themselves up. It's so stupid. And There's, you lose all of them. They're incredibly aggressive for like oh, no reason at all. Oh, I hate, I hate how they control in one. When I, I went from one to two and I'm like, the AI was so much more improved for them in this one. 20% of college debt paid. <laughs> Gosh. I can't believe no time passed when we were down there. That's convenient. Yeah, uh, that's... I'm gonna go that and is a gonna... phenomenon that happens. It's it, they literally explain it in game too. They're like, "Oh, no time passed while we were in here. Like a fraction of the time passed." <laughs> it is a hundred percent canon that it is no time passing in there. It's incredible. Do we have enough purple, or do we lose them all in that scuffle? I think I lost quite a few of them in that scuffle. Oh, what? What's huh? Up? Oh, huh? all of our Louis, the sun will be. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Oh shit! We don't have enough. Come back. All Hurry. right. No, stop! Stop picking! Stop picking men. Mm, Get over here. Men. <laughs> stop picking men. I'm coming. Two different treasure needles. One for me and one for you. Why are they at the bottom? I don't know. It's like double the treasure. Let's go! Alright, we'll come back in the, we'll come back in and the chip away at this tomorrow, I guess. I hope everyone is like enjoying themselves so far. I've been having a fun time lately. Or rather, I like have. I've been having a fun time with this. Even though... L lately is a good word to say, though. I feel like I've been that way in my <laughs> content as well. Lately, as opposed to the past, like, hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> I've been having a fun time lately, as opposed to, like, two hours ago. <laughs> oh, God. That's so funny to say that, that way. <coughs> They're just like going inside the exhaust pipes, dude. That's a, that's uh that's no good. Oh, shoot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Inside you, there are two bulb orbs. Oh, gosh. You could literally do that, though. You could do that with, like, the red one and the black one. The spotty bulb bear. Oh, what? Wait, wait, does the spotty one go honk me, me, me? No, it's the, the, the opposite. It's like the aggressive one. Oh. It pursues you relentlessly. The aggressive one goes honk me, 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 me. <laughs> God. That's awesome. That, that, that's no, awesome, I don't true. Think, I don't think it does. I don't think it does. I need there to be honk me, 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 me. Ah yes, he can see. Ah yes, that he can see why kids like cinnamon toast crunch. I mean, Toad, can you? Oh? Huh? Do you know why kids like cinnamon toast crunch? I don't know. I'm, I'm not kids. You're not kids. You haven't been for a while now. <laughs> I, I miss being kids. I mean, I know why kids like cinnamon toast crunch because I'm 24 years old and I like cinnamon toast crunch. It is Hell easily yeah. the best like child cereal. You Not know? wrong. Especially when you put milk in it. Oh, it's perfection. Especially when you put milk in it. Yes! I'm not kidding! And listen, listen, I know your brain's in a different place, but listen, it in my head, I'm thinking about the milk from a cow's teats, all right? <laughs> Uh, no, that's not what I thought either. I just thought it was funny that you had to mention that. <laughs> like, as if it was not a normal thing. I don't- dude! Dude, Especially I don't know! when you put milk in it, like, yeah, Hello, no Mario. shit, it's cereal. <laughs> cereal requires milk, you're right, exactly. it does. But, like, listen, there are some cereals that are sometimes better without milk. Like, yeah, for example, yeah. like, I'm probably one of the five people on Earth that actually likes Magic Spoon. Like, I actually, like, signed up for it, and it's actually... I mean, it works for me, you know? I haven't tried it before. It's actually pretty good. About it, though. The um, uh, peanut butter one is actually, like, really good to munch on. Like, without milk. I think that peanut butter cereal with milk is pretty nasty. But if you just, like, have, like, the peanut butter uh, magic spoon and just, like, you know, munch on it, like, straight out the box, it is very oh. snackable. <laughs> I don't munch on cereal anymore. It, it shreds my gums to pieces. Really? It depends on what it is, but like, I just, I, I, I haven't had cereal without milk in Wait. like a decade. Wait, real people actually like Magic Spoon? Yes, I am real people. <laughs> I am real people. Uh, I am people. Su surprisingly, I am real people. And not just content creators. Listen, all I'm saying I was saying this without a shred of irony. If Magic Spoon came up and said, hey, you want to sponsor? I would take it without without a second thought. Not because I'm yeah. a shill. Although, you know, partly because I am a shill because I need money. But also <laughs> because, like, you know, I am <laughs> I am an actual customer. I yeah. have I like actually like like their cereal, and my roommate does, especially my roommate, because because I'm a, he's on the keto diet and it's keto friendly. There you go. So, so he really you likes the. You legitimately sound like a YouTuber right now. <laughs> no, I know. What, Which is a good thing. It's it's really genuine. Like that's what I like about like genuine advertisers. It, it's really hard to find them even even amongst the YouTubers that you like watching every day. And you know like oh I like their personality. I like who they are. And, but even at that, you can't you can't always tell if even if they're being genuine about the product that they're selling. Well, like, listen, if Magic Spoon ever came out to me and wanted me to like chill for them, I would literally, I would literally get my roommate like involved on it because <laughs> because he's also like a customer of it, and I can say like even my roommate likes it because <laughs> because it's keto yeah. friendly and it doesn't sacrifice on taste. So and have like like a a a, a, a video of you like recording him eating it and doing some goofy meme shit with it. I mean, he might do it. Toad actually sells Raycon earphones. I do! I do! do I you? actually sell- Yeah, I, I actually work at a tech store now at an airport, and we would genuinely have, like, pretty much every kind of Raycon. He's a shill. Is he a shill, or is the airport a shill? I... That's actually a good question. I just love how, like... Without hands, the crew member just looks like he's like summoning these Pikmin with his mind. 
Yeah, every time every time that the Raycon shit gets mentioned, I'm just like, hey chat, if you use to, uh, code TOTO7 at checkout, you get 30% off your first order. How would you ever order Raycon more than once? <laughs> You're supposed to like have them and then those are just your earbuds, right? <laughs> well, there's earbuds and there's in like there's like over the ear headsets. Yeah, yeah, there's like headphones. So like, yeah. fitness brands, etc. I can like I I don't hate Raycon. I've had the chance to try them and they're not terrible. So I could sell Raycon if I were given the opportunity. Raycon is very above average, but if you're yeah. like if you're if you're not like an audiophile, then you'll audio probably files immediately reject Raycon. Yeah, yeah, they unquestionably every time. They immediately reject Raycon. They do not fuck with it at all. Which nope. you know it's same same for Beats. Beats is the other one that people are just like That is their prerogative. Like don't. That is their prerogative. But like I think I think if you're just <laughs> you know, like Joe Blow Shploney and you just want like a fucking uh you know, a solid set of headphones or buds. You know, Raycon will get the job done. You know? I always hate how these fuckers are still wriggling oh, as they're being pulled in. They're still, like, kicking, you know? I can't think of a single sponsor nowadays, though, besides, like, Raycon that I would ever be able to advertise if I were a professional. I've actually, even as a small content creator, I have gotten approached by one single advertiser that I've never heard of before, but they had a lot of followers. Well, like, I don't remember also... the name, but it was like they were trying to sell some sort of G Fuel and Gamer subs substitute. Oh. Uh, I don't remember the name, but I remember they had like a Pepe Frog as their logo. Shady as fuck. Do not do that. <laughs> oh no, I, I, I very, I, I very much pick and choose. Is that to say you gotta shut that they shit down? They were very... Man. They didn't seem like they had an illegitimate product though. It seemed like a little bit less sketchy than most people. It's like how HelloFresh yeah. had like a bunch of the like, oh, oh, ooh, you know, small streamers, you could be sponsored by us. Yeah, I didn't buy any of that shit. I can confirm like because I'm companies. a Dank Pods reviewed um, uh, Raycons and he hated them. I don't think he hated them. I just think that he were thought. <laughs> I think he thought that they were just like extremely mid. Which, you they know, are. if you're. That's like the general verdict. If you're that kind of person, then yeah, you're going to think they're kind of mid. Mm -hmm. But like. I think if you're just looking for like a solid set of like, you know, headphones or buds, then like. You know, Raycon is like pretty above average for that. It gets the job mm -hmm. done. I sell a lot of Raycons at my job, so I, I it's it's my go-to for people who are looking for something good but not like fantastic. <laughs> uh, they say, "Oh wow, you're the famous Twitch streamer, Agent Toad Seven, and <laughs> and I saw you sponsor Raycon." I genuinely want that to happen in my life at some point. Are you the famous Twitch streamer? Honestly. A lot of VTubers want to completely separate their identity. I'm going to embrace my identity, and whenever, whenever I finally like face reveal myself, which will be whenever I get like I don't know like 10,000 subscribers or something on YouTube. Sure. I genuinely want to walk around with like cosplay of the Toad outfit whenever I, I go to cute. like convention. I, I, it's my dream. I'm like I could still do like the virtual like meet and greets that VTubers do, which would be fun, but. Genuinely, I just want to walk around and still meet people. I'm grinding. Because I've been to conventions, or at least one convention, and it was like the first convention I ever went to in my life. And I'm like, I'm sitting there thinking about what would what would I do if I was an actual content creator and I was interacting with people? What would I want to do? Would I want to do the virtual stuff that other VTubers do, or would I want to walk? Would I want to want to walk around and meet people and stuff like that? And the social aspect got the better of me. I'm like, I would want to. I would want to talk to people. I would want to meet people as as a person and not as like a, a fictional character. You got so many guys here. I do not know, but here are some back. I'm checking the. I thought that said whole of breasts for a second. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Come That's on down insane. to the most popular club in the Midwest, the whole of breasts. Oh, God. The most popular gentleman's club in the whole Midwest. 
That is so. If you fucking crazy. come down to Indiana, you'll probably find something like that. We have no class. No. Jesus. <laughs> It's the most fun in the fuck. In the fuck. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna go to. The well, actually, have we found everything we can find up to this point? Yeah, I just been um uh, grinding like the, the strength the berries bellies. here. Yeah. Also, we missed one of the berries. I think. Wait, did we not? Yeah, I thought. Oh. Oh. Why? Well, I. No. I could have Dude. sworn we saw another berry there. Did, were you? So I'm I not tripping, anything, right? right? No, I saw it too. You aren't. Okay, cool. I'm not tripping. Got it. <laughs> Anyways. But no. Uh, wait. Um... Oh wait, we can't get across the water right now. All I'm saying is, I would shill for fucking Magic Spoon because I do actually unironically like their stuff. Hmm. So I would recommend them, especially if you're on keto, because. In terms of uh, keto cereal, I think it's probably one of the better options. So, I could maybe vouch for Raid Shadow Legends because it's genuinely not a terrible game. I've played it before. Did you play it as a sponsor it's... thing or just played it no, like, recreationally? No, I, I, I played it. Technically, I did, but it was because one of my friends was doing a sponsor thing and I wanted to p pitch in. But yeah, I I played it technically as a sponsor, but not my sponsor. Hold on, I need to give you more guys. Um, Go grab them. Nice. Grab them. Now I'm trying grab not em. to grab get scare bugged. Trying not to get slug get bugged. Bug, idiot. Here, I got more guys for you. More guys, holy frick! Got more men for you. Wait, wait, hold on. I want more. I want more purple men. I'm good with this. Okay. Uh, sheer rubs. Ah! It's fine. We'll just like swarm them, and now they can't kill any of us. Hmm. Yeah, I can't think of any other sponsors that I would vouch for in general. I probably spot. I probably do Factor as well because, like, I actually. A uh, Factor is like a meal kit, right? Yeah. And it yeah, sends yeah, yeah. I... like fresh, fresh microwavable meals to your door every week. Uh... And I actually use that. I actually do use that, and it's very yeah. Helpful like for I think me. that's the genuine. That's the, those are the genuine best type of sponsors people can have. The stuff that you can tell that you people use. Yeah, I want to. I would want to have sponsors that like make a tangible difference in people's lives. You know. Yeah. And not just like here's Raid Shadow Legends, <laughs> which you know. I mean, like I get, I get why people would take those sponsorships. I've seen how much. Saber Spark was fucking promised by Ray Shadow Legends to like show That's for them. Funny. It was <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen the photo, but it's like it's like um uh um uh it's a photo of like Bilbo Baggins like with the ring over like the fire, right? Gosh. And <laughs> Instead of the ring, it was like how much he was being promised by Raid, and it was oh, like in the ballpark funny. of like five to seven thousand dollars for one spot. Wow, that so, is that, that is I would instantly take that because I, I that's yeah, the thing, like, I take that I know, too. Since I, since I like the game, I cannot just have like an unbiased opinion about it. There sure. is one game that there is one game that I would want to vouch for that's like upcoming. That I know there's gonna be shit ton of sponsors for. Wait, 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 no! What? Sorry. What I do? What would we missing? I think we're about to leave like five behind. Oh no, I don't think we leave them behind. Okay. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Okay. White flower garden. Okay, this is probably where we're gonna get like the poison guys. Yep. So we're gonna get the white Pikmin. <coughs> Anyways, um, what was that again? You were, you were talking oh, yeah. about Raid Shadow Legends and how you would actually sponsor it because you like the game. Yeah, and then there was another one that I thought of. I was like, oh yeah, I would. Oh, one that I would genuinely sponsor that is an upcoming game that I can almost guarantee you is going to get a shit ton of sponsorships. Zenless Zone Zero. What? This is the new, yeah, it's the new, uh, it's the new Hoyoverse game that's upcoming. I like the change. 
There's been one for Genshin Impact. There's been one for Honkai. I can almost guarantee you there's going to be Zen with Zone Zero Smashers. And I would take them because I've genuinely seen the game and it's one of the only like Hoyoverse games that's gotten my attention because of the aesthetic and characters of it. Do not steal my guys. You stole my guys. I stole your guys. You stole my men. They call me the men stealer. <laughs> Uh, His anyway. rhymes yucky like a fungus. <laughs> Fortnite cock and balls among us. Oh fuck! <laughs> How do you do that? Okay, what kind of all right? What kind of sponsorship deal is Nintendo doing now? Let's see. Huh? Look at this. I want to see like what this is real quick. I want to see what this is oh. when, they, when they bring it over. It's, it's, it's fucking Dr. Pepper! <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Seven of collaborating with Dr. Pepper to fucking end the human race. Canon. Alright, let's see it. Yeah, look at that shit, dude. Seven up and Dr. Pepper are actually under the same company, I thought. I think so, yeah. Yeah. It's called the Drought Ender. Mm, Dr. Pepper. How do they know th How do they know that it's it's for like a drink? It's what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's all Pepsi Co. Okay, well then Pepsi ended the planet, confirmed. God. That's funny. This is why I always drink Coke! Hey, God. Actually I hate Coke. I hate all the dark soda. Actually. I I, I can drink Coke or Pepsi. I can fuck with both. I only fuck with Sprite and... I just fuck with whatever's available. And some forms of Mountain Dew. I've I have mostly cut soda. Stuff. I mostly cut soda, like, out of my diet entirely. No, that's good. But if I have to, like, drink a soda, or if I'm feeling like... If I'm feeling like I can spare it, I'll usually drink a Sprite. I'll literally be like LeBron James. I do, in fact, want a Sprite, LeBron. Give me that. <laughs> I can, yeah, I can use that meme one ironically. We got the whites. I do, however, don't- <laughs> WE GOT THE WHITES?! <laughs> it's an easy joke for me to make every time <laughs> I play this game. There okay, so like, I don't know- I don't know if you'd be familiar, but in wrestling, there's a wrestler called Sheamus, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like I've heard of that. Before- in the early stages, he was called the Great White Sheamus. <laughs> And I just, I don't, I don't know what Vince was thinking. I don't know what Vince was thinking when he did that, but he was on some shit. Look at these little beady eye boys. I love them. They were designed to die. They were designed to die. Literally, they like they 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 get eaten and they they poison things and they die. No, no, they do. Like they have, they have the worst attack power in the game. And, but uh, also, sort of the best. He is pale as hell by American standards. Yeah, yeah, but like, I mean, like, Seamus isn't even from, like, America. Like, he's... He's from, I think, Ireland. Call 1-800-FELLA, fella. But yeah, like, by... By U.S. standards, Seamus is pale as fuck. He's basically been that way for like his entire career. Like he's always had like no tan. That's funny. But people have really like um uh It's uh, almost time for a 120 like, second kind of a minute Cheetos now. break, my dudes. He's like an underrated favorite now. Oh damn it. Yay! Hooray. Hooray, how great. <laughs> no, he is in fact very, very pale by, you know, American standards. But why'd they have to call him that? <laughs> That's a great white Seamus. It's always really easy for me to make white jokes whenever I play Pikmin 2. Well, listen, I myself am a white man. 
Exactly. So, it's fair. I unironically, whenever I have like a stupid, like, 40 year old lady as a customer, I'm like, that's stupid white bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I can't say it. Yo, I'm back. I was scrolling through TikTok and one of those got one of those one of those you you're um, a birth sorry you're um, a you're um, a birth month is your new roommate tiktoks it was all um, a wwe superstars i was jealous at first of my um a besties month since she got stone cold steve awesome but then i got my birth month and i got rio ripley oh boy you got mommy didn't you you got mommy which one is october which one's october uh doom slayer yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Wait, wait, are the white Pikmin the only ones that can dig? Yep. I mean, not the only ones that can dig, but the only ones that can uncover... It's break time. Where the heck's the cheetos, the my dudes? Oh, so they're, like, not just good for dying. Rob was on it for this. October, it's Cody Rhodes. They're also really fast, so they keep up with you more. Wrestling does have more than one royal family chat. <laughs> that royal family... It's the giraffe family. The two-toed ungulate family. Ooh. You said toad, I thought of me, toad. <laughs> I got two toads. Actually, no, I only mm. have the one here. <laughs> no, just one. Four. One. Yumi Pega Wolf, thank you for following. You're now a member of the Longboy Club for life. Thank he was at, like... 777 when he started, by the way. I'm at 779. I really should have bought that lottery ticket, dude. Damn. I really should now have bought that lottery ticket. Completely unlucky. Hello, Mario. <laughs> I thought I already followed you, Steph. Well, now you do. You are now... <laughs> you have now been a member of the Long Boy Club for a whopping 20 seconds, and now your life mm -hmm. has been substantially improved as a result. Hell yeah. A toad can attest. Toad, how happy is your life now? Uh, a, a, a totally amazing and, and awesome. And I'm not being uh, I'm not being coerced to say this by any means whatsoever. Wow, what a genuine response! And you can have that level of happiness too if you follow the Giraffe Step Twitch account. <laughs> right now, in this instance, where the heck are you? <laughs> I am near the hole. Oh, okay. All right, well then, uh, go down the hole then. With pleasure. <laughs> go down into the big hole. The big, big booty hole. <laughs> it kind of do just look like a booty hole, though. Go to the hole of breasts right now. <laughs> 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 it's so funny. That om nom nom. Oh, excuse that. me, we're back, my dudes. Hey, welcome back to Raw. Yeah. Raw butthole? I mean, what? <laughs> right, and this is where we learn about the fact that they're resistant to poison. Oh, we've we've we've, we've encountered poison on the doors. Uh, oh a dude named God. Tracy with the long boys, girls, NBs, and AGs. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Tracy, for sending your lovely community on over here. For those of you who are on a no. What are you doing? I'm trying to I'm trying to throw them at the thing of a jig. I'm trying to throw them at the thing of a boober. Um, Hello oh, Mario. <laughs> Hi, for those of you who are unaware, my name is Giraffe Sev. I'm president of Long Boy Club, large enjoyer of things that are gaming, wrestling, other hyperfixations, and my stinky cat. Tonight, we are playing Pikmin 2 co-op with my friend Toad here. Who you all should Whoa. follow too, especially if you like Nintendo stuff. Uh oh, yeah. Because that is his M.O. That's his M.O. So, yeah. Giraffe, nice um, <laughs> Giraffe me more. How are you? I'm doing fine, Tina. Tina? Nina. I got I got a Tina and a Nina who, yeah, who come to my stream sometimes. I apologize. Yeah. But yeah. Hopefully y'all had fun over, over at Tracy's stream. Did you forget about me? No, no, no. I did not forget about you, Nina. It's just that I also think about Tina because, like, I kind of see Tina more often too. So, Hello, Mario. <laughs> just like in general, Hello. I see her like all the time these days. Is is that a mogus? It is a mogus. 
What were you guys up to? We were watching tiny desk concerts. <laughs> tiny desk concerts? I, just... I need some context. Hello, on Mario. <laughs> I can't believe he deaf forgot about you, Tina. <laughs> Forgort <laughs> about you, Tina. Tina. Said Tina again. I know. I'm, I'm actually. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually stupid. Ooh, silly. You, you silly goose. Yeah, what's you come the over here and get your guys. <laughs> you come over here and get your guys that are like stuck behind this cliff. Hi, Henry. Wahoo. Uh, Toxic toadstool. That's me when I play. Um, 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 I don't know. I lost the joke halfway through. That's, uh, <laughs> that's some, uh, villainous peach. That's like evil peach. There. Yeah, evil peach. How the heck did you get up there? Oh, I, I this walked. Way. You walked? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, Sev. I set forward with my left foot and I set forward with my right foot and then I kept oh, doing God. that until I Not got up here. Him. You gotta step forward with your left foot. <laughs> I heard you say that like two or three times last stream. <laughs> it's like a William Regal joke. It's a wrestling thing. I could tell. You gotta step forward with your left foot. So it's a thing that NPR does that they that they bring an artist and they set up like a little corner that looks like a desk and they bring artists to come and perform their songs a cappella. They are amazing. That actually sounds really cool. That sounds really cool. I like that. Survival ointment. I like me some a cappella. Whenever I think of a cappella, I think of Crash uh, Twin Sanity though, because like that you know, game soundtrack actually... was like all a cappella. <laughs> that's actually an interesting thing. Yeah. I've never played Crash Twin Sanity. That's like the only Crash game I've never played besides Wrath of Cortex. It's a really strange game because like, oh, you know. can tell that they want to like do more with it, but they just couldn't. So. But they did a lot, and people remember it more fondly than other Crash games. Such as you... Wrath of Cortex. Well, yeah, like no one even thinks about that anymore. So. No one even thinks about Wrath of Cortex anymore. It's I never just the played king it. of mid. So. I never played it, and I don't think that's a bad thing. You're not missing out on too much mm, because it nope. shows you the range of the artist. It really does. Yeah. It, it shows you the range of the artist. Ugh, excuse me. Jeez. Oh, okay. Actually, didn't read that message. No, I'm interested. Yeah, whenever I think acapella, I usually think pentatonics first. <laughs> this is like the default. Because that was like the first time I figured out what the hell acapella even was. Was when uh, back when they were really popular. When they were first oh, uh, talking about the desk concerts, I thought they were talking about like those little like skateboards that you would get in cereal boxes. Like, oh, you know God. the ones I'm talking about? The little That's like... tech deck. Yeah, yeah, the little tech decks or whatever the heck they were. And like That's you would always get them in like cereal boxes and shit. I remember those. Oh, in cereal boxes. I don't think. <laughs> I don't no, think no, they were like always in cereal boxes. Yeah, I, I don't think the brand of tech deck was in cereal boxes though. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit, it's this guy bird. again. Bird. bird. Oh wait. Bird. Bird. Wait, wait. Can you dig them out? Can you dig them out? No, you're supposed to attack them at the base, but also at the head. Get back here, little dudes. Right, where did you go? Which way did it go, George? Which way did it go? Oh, you gotta like swarm him at the head. I see. You can attack it at its Hello, base, Mario. but attacking it at the head is much better to do. The heck? Skolonski. Hello, how are you doing? Bird, 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 bird. Having two ah! people at once attacking this thing is kind of OP. What now? Oh, having two people attack this thing at once. Yeah. It kind of is, isn't it? I never thought about the implications of that. Ah! I love the fucking knock ass chicken sound effect that plays. Hey, Stev, I fucking love this game. I'm actually enjoying it, too. I'm liking it more than I did, like, years and years ago. But, mm -hmm. like... 
I still don't think it's my favorite of the series. I think that... I think that one, at least, like, even the, even the weird, you know, like, you know, uh, Pikmin AI to one side, I just... I enjoy, like... <clears throat> I enjoy kind of, like, the more... Sort of... An AI. Look at these motherfuckers over here. I enjoy... Clunt, clunt I, together. I enjoy its take on strategy more than I do 2 and 3. Because... Ah. Because, like... I mean, like, I've already said it. Like, with the first game... It feels like there's more stakes involved, you know? And uh, I feel both. like... Both oh, no. were on GameCube. Yeah, 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 yeah. Both 1 and 2. Both of them were on GameCube and on Wii. And now on Switch, too. Mm. But not the Wii U. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Although, then again, Switch the Wii U didn't get anything. Switch is now officially the Pikmin machine. Yeah, yeah, the Switch is now the Pikmin machine. It has every it's game. So. Still baffling to me that Pikmin 4 outsold Mario RPG Remake. Well, that just shows Pikmin's the better series, like it always has been. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I will fight you over this. <laughs> but no, I, I really... No, listen, listen, listen. RPG. Listen, I also love Mario RPG. It's my favorite Super Nintendo game. Uh, but... But... I'm also... I'm also an avid Pikmin stan, all right? No, I get you. I'm a the Pikmin, Pikmin community stan. is insane. I've seen Pikmin Twitter. It's bonkers. It feels like Who? oddly some of the most wholesome stuff, mostly because we don't get anything. We're like starving yeah. most of the time. It was really worth like having all that hype because now it's like it's big and it's like very well known. The mark the marketing was so good for it. They had it like everywhere. Mhm. Mm it was influencing Japanese culture a little bit more. Like, kids would be like, their moms would be like whistling to them, like, Hello, Mario. Maybe, like doing silly things. And they'd be like, how they would like get their kids to behave. I liked hearing cute stories. Like, and one of the most stupid autistic things happened with it when, when Pikmin 4 came out. There were like shit tons of people going on like Amazon, <laughs> buying that one stupid drain valve from Pikmin 4. The drain valve? Yeah, that oh. one little blue one. That that's the cave entrances in four. People who were actually buying those things in like it's like tons of Pikmin fans were buying them. It was so stupid. They were actually selling out on Amazon. Hello, it Angel. Was How you doing? The funniest shit. That's my friend Angel. Hi. Welcome to the nice long boy club meeting. We're fucking. She playing... lost her way to get here. <laughs> we're fucking playing Pikmin right now. No, the influence of Pikmin 4 was crazy. All I'm honestly pretty happy it got as many sales as it did. <laughs> I'm not going to say I've not heard anything about it, because, you know, I'm just not as plugged into gaming as I used to be. But, like... I, I am more plugged in than ever. I do want to play it at some point. <laughs> at some point I'd soon. Because, like, There's I really like this series a lot. If you're, like, a completionist, 4 is, like, a heaven. Also, click the screen. Oh, sorry. All right, well, I guess we can just spend, like... I guess we can spend the rest of this time just kind of clearing out and, you know. But we have lights, so we can go through the gate with the poison. We can, in fact, go through the gate with the poison. I'm going to kill the guys here, though. <laughs> yeah, you can. I'm going to go start on that, though. Okay. We have half a day to do shit, so... Yeah, we got like half a day to do this stuff. It took me the longest time to figure out where the heck Toad put the announcement. Oh, well, admittedly, I forgot he had a Discord channel because I am ADHD and busy as all fluff. Mm, oh, cute, God. Cute. Well, you know what? I appreciate that you follow him over here, and I appreciate having you here. I appreciate all my agents that come over here, honestly, and allies. You guys mm. are awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Whenever I have a collab, I get like most of my community coming over here. It's fun. Well, I appreciate all of your usual peeps that have uh, decided to just kind of come and visit my little corner over here. Uh, for those of you who are unaware, I specialize mostly in wrestling stuff. Uh, that's my bread and butter. I'm a huge, huge mark. Um, I often, <laughs> I often, I'm a confuse my friends like with wrestling stuff, especially if they <laughs> aren't like into wrestling. Uh, I but can attest to this. I try to keep that to a minimum because I don't want my, I don't want my co-host to feel like they got nothing to contribute. So. Genuinely though, whenever I'm like not, like whenever I'm in your community, not like right here, 
I, um, you genuinely make what you do fun. Thank you. And I always say that. I always say that, like, genuinely to anyone that I talk to you about, is that Stev makes wrestling, which is the most, like, if you're not into sports in general, it's really hard to be into it. But, like, when Stev does it, it just makes it, like, more fun and entertaining, even if you're hard. Even if you don't understand half of what's going on, he just makes it fun anyways. Aww. <laughs> I really enjoy, like, um, creating, like, my own little cannons out of wrestling. Like, we have a whole bunch of characters that we made in wrestling games, such as the great and powerful Gira, who... who no one told wrestling is fake, and he will just fucking beat the shit out of you I remember all the that time. Story. Um, oh, Henry shit, the Cat, me. who is... who who's literally just my cat, and I put him in the game. Um, uh, Java Crit, who has multiple jobs, and she can't pay the bills with wrestling if she wants to be an astronaut. Uh, and now we have Shining Wizard, who's based off of my pony, I see. Um, <laughs> uh, what were you saying, Toad, after I kept talking? Uh, I forgot. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry about it. Okay, okay. Let like, come back to you. You were, you were, like, talking, I was talking about, um, a uh, gear at, and then, like, you were gonna go on to something else. So... Ooh. So really oh yeah, I was just gonna say, like, what you do is kind of like D&D, &D, but for wrestling. Yeah, I've thought about, like, doing D&D &D stuff on stream, but I don't know if I'd make a good Dungeon Master. So oh, that's fine. You just gotta find a good DM, then. Which is also why I play... I want to play, like, more um, uh, role-playing games on stream. Like, I really want to play the Yakuza games, for one thing. Oh, I actually bought the entire Yakuza series, because there was a big Steam sale on them. Hello, nice. Mario. I have all of them now. Only one way to find um, out. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I mean, oh shit, like... Kramer, ah! Ah! No! What? <laughs> this stupid game. Ah, but cool. Um, I'm cool over here. Take a look at this cool globe I found. This is like finding a cool stick in the yard, dude. Right, this is so it. stupid. No! Ooh. Kill it. It's good. We didn't, we didn't lose anybody. Yeah. Right, don't take all the guys. You survived. I didn't take all the guys. It's fine. Okay, you didn't take all the guys. Uh, right, we orples. gotta take the globe back. Let's get the orples. Let's just use the orples on them. Then we can just uh, use our other Pikmin everywhere else. All right, all right. They will slowly get Let's their use way the orples. back to the base. Fuck. And while you're doing that... Fuck, I need to go grab more purples. Give me a second. <laughs> I mean, you could use some. Well, I need to use all. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I need to use all and still won't be enough. I have a so bridge I need here. To go and give them. I just created a brig. A brig. A brig. Get over here, purples! I miss how far you can reach, like, with your whistle in, like, the Wii games. I remember that, Because, like, with the Wii games, you can, like, reach We really almost far. missed this little guy out here. Um, oh. hold on. Check the map real quick. Make sure we didn't lose anyone. We got a couple of guys over there. Alright. <sighs> Fuck, they may not be able to get it back in time. Shit. Okay. Well, in this case, I'm gonna make sure that, like, everyone is just I like, made a focused bridge, on so this. I made a bridge, so they might be able to make it. I'm just gonna focus everybody's efforts on this. If they take this, they might take the bridge. I don't know how the AI works when you activate the bridge. I think they go this way. Let's Please see. go that way. Yeah, baby! They're smart! They're smart! Ooh, yeah. Oh, shit. Alright. I think will... they can get it. They're not gonna get it, now. Okay, but I can they get it over the bridge? <laughs> there you go. It's the little steps. Yay, I'm proud of you. Oh, gosh. Yay, I'm proud of you. Oh, yeah. Get over here. All right. Wait, wait, where are the rest get of them? Get over here. Wait, wait, where are the rest of them? Okay, okay, okay. They're fine. They're at the base. They won't get killed. Cool. We got six in the ground, and when we come back, there'll be flowers. I'm doing something fun on Yakuza Zero, says uh, Dark Raven. So, 
So through the whole game, I'm collecting pocket tissues, and when I beat the game, I'm going to gather all the tissues I collected and sell them to see how much they total. <laughs> That's actually really fun. I like that. I like, I like how they just keep trying to like, to like hit the fucking ship. That's great. Mm -hmm. Who, <laughs> who is the Among Us? That would be me. I'm playing as, yeah. I'm playing as um a stove, right I'm now. Playing as my my kindred spirit, Todd. Right now, Todd. You're playing as Todd. I'm playing as stove. Todd the f the fungus. <laughs> Honestly, I think. What did, oh, hello. What did chat call me earlier? Or did, or what did we call me earlier? Like when we started the stream. What did I call you earlier? I called you like, like. Called you like the fungus man or something. No, it was like. <laughs> oh no, I don't remember. <laughs> fungal fungus. The fungal, the fungal bungle or whatever. No, I, I used something really funny, but I forgot what it was. The fungal scrungle. <laughs> that's that's something you call me. That is not it. <laughs> no, it's not. We're just like ADHD and the fuck out being like, what did we say like three hours ago? The fungus among us. No, no, like this dude, dude, this fucking tag team is called Fungus Among Us. <laughs> You're not wrong though. This that's funny. This right here is your new tag team, Fungus Among Us. Fungus Among Us. That's <laughs> so so funny. The Great Fungalore. The Great Fungalore's great. I like that. That's your new. <laughs> that's your wrestling nickname. Oh fuck. To retire for the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. But like the company doesn't pay us for our fucking break. We gotta Man, keep it's a shame doing that the shit. only wrestling toad that exists is Prince Mush. Well, well, I can make a wrestling toad in 2K <laughs> if I wanted to. Oh, God. I'm sure that someone's made a toad caw. I'm a caw stands for I'm a creator wrestler. Oh. So. Uh. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Winter Warburton with Hello, the Long Mario. Boys, Girls, NBs, and AGs. Thank Hello, you very Mario. much for stopping on by. For those of you who are unaware, my name is Travis Sev. I'm Hello, president Mario. of Long Boy Club. Large enjoyer of all things gaming, wrestling, other hyperfixations, and my stinky cat. Tonight, we are playing um, Pikmin 2 with my friend Agent Toad over here, who is who's a big um, a Nintendo mark. He's been a fucking fan of this series for how long, Toad? Yeah, since I was like... Five. Great. At, it's probably ten years old. Great. Five you know that he's based eight. then, and you all should follow yeah. him. But you should also follow me. I am Giraffe and Steph. I specialize in wrestling content. I specialize in like role playing games, RPGs, Hello, and chill out streams so I do whatever the fuck I want. Um first off, first off, I gotta shout out Winter War Burton right here. Because Thank you for bringing your lovely community on over here. I gotta say, Warburton, like Patrick Warburton. Patrick, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, uh, hey, 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 Toad. Hey, Toad. <laughs> hey, Agent Toad. Oh yeah, it's all come together. Remember the time that we played Pikmin Two? <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> you and Toad make a good team. We do. We I'm glad you think so. I've, I've, I like bouncing off of his energy. <laughs> Click. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> but no, Winter Warburton. Thank you. No relation, but he's, but he's a good man. Oh what? Oh what, Toad? Sorry, sorry. I keep clicking out. Go. No, I. It's fine. I haven't been not moving. Are you familiar with Winter Warburton or no? Uh, no, I'm not. Oh. Oh, Patrick oh. Warburton. Oh, Patrick Warburton. No relation, but a good man. Yeah, we love Patrick Warburton. I found a thing. What happens when a fungus and a furry come into a bar together? What if I told you that I am a fungal furry? Right. You are, right. you are a f <laughs> you're a fungi. A fungi. A fungi. You're a Yubi That's Funky. A Yubi Funky? I... 
I don't remember who it was, but somebody in my chat mentioned that to me or something. And I, I, oh no, actually it wasn't my chat. I was like looking up like Etsy shit with my, uh, or, or Mercari shit with my coworker. And then I, uh, I ended up on that. I'm like, what the Four, fuck is this? Four, one. I looked Warburton. into it and I was like, oh my God, this is a, this is a thing. This is a 2000s ass niche. Thank you for following. You're now a member of the Wall Boy Club for life. I want to know, how the heck did you find me? How the heck did you find me? Jesus Christ! I did not know you still had the pipes out of that. I did! I did! <laughs> <laughs> I need to, like, turn it down, because, like, if I- If I ever play a horror game, then people are gonna spam the shit out of that, and I'm gonna end up in the ER. I literally, whenever I play- I forgot what it was! I don't remember what game that I played. I think it was, um... I think it was Homebody, which is like an indie horror game. And it was like the first horror game I ever played. I think I added jump scares specifically for that. <laughs> no, it wasn't that. It was, um, it was, um, Heaven Studio, which is like, um, a fan game of Rhythm Heaven. Okay. I added, I added jump scares specific. I, whoops. Sorry. I added uh, jump scares specifically for people to mess me up in the middle of the of, of the game. Which didn't really work out because the game itself was the thing that messed me up <laughs> with how many <laughs> like insane tracks that the developers had added. And they were in chat. Like all, all the people who had made the game were in chat like heckling me in, in the most positive way. It was awesome. That's so cute. I love that. Also, hey, I Gitsy works that. again. Are you just gonna, like, redeem Gitsy right off the bat? Oh, no. Are we gonna have to interrupt our playtime here? But I can't fairly redeem it. That's right, you gotta wait until the break. It is not a commercial break. Oh, yeah, that's right, because, like, we just have... We've... <laughs> We've unofficially named um, uh, Gaming in the Clinton years as like the video that we show the subscribers during the commercial breaks. Hell yeah. But no, um, uh, you were in my recommended channels on Twitch, but I think I've seen a few of your clips on TikTok too. It's really cool that like I'm showing up in more people's recommended feeds lately. That seems to be mm. what it seems to be happening. I <laughs> I genuinely didn't think I would even get that far. Especially after doing it for like so long, but it's really, it's really cool. Oh, the went back here, by the way. It just reset. Oh, oh, hold on. Let's let's go ahead and do the thing that we were gonna do yesterday and just Portals. and just swarm all the purples on it. Portals. Hopefully, we have enough purples. Also, this thing is slanted, and they're just champing this shit. I'm gonna get the f the, f the forg. I'll just go ahead and use one red. Get your bitch ass over here. Get that- I right, get that back to base. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> Are you just like brute forcing that? I was trying to. Wait, wait. You can genuinely Hold on. beat things to death. What if we tag teamed it? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Please. Please. Come on over here. Come on over here. We gotta- We gotta get our guys to safety first. Just, like, put them in a place where we know we're not gonna, like, harm them. Alright, chat. Hold on just a second. Always had faith in you when I first met you. Much love, bruv. T-Brain, thank you very much. You're, like, actually one of my newest, like, friends in real life. So, uh, so it's very, very, very cool that you've been here for, like, you know, my recent just kind of... I don't want to say success, I don't want to be, like, stroking my own cock too much. Speaking of... Lumi Celestine with the long boys, girls, NBs, and AGs. Thank you very much for stopping Hello, on Mario. by. <laughs> for those of you who are unaware, my name's Giraffe. i I'm the president of the Long Boy Club. Very large enjoyer of all things gaming, wrestling, other hyperfixations, and my stinky cat. Tonight, we... It's almost time for a 120 seconds minute Cheetos break, my dudes. Is it? Fuck. Hold on, snoozing. I'm going. <laughs> what uh, a thing for these guys to read into. I am. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. We're not doing the break yet. Oh, God. We are. Marshall! 
<laughs> I'm playing Pikmin 2 with Toad right now, and right now we're watching Gitsy. I guess I'm gonna do the fucking... <laughs> fucking, we're gonna run an ad. It's break time. Where the heck's the Cheetos, my dude? Raw rules on after this! Hello, Mario. I'm dying. <laughs> oh, we, we screwed now. Hey there, Joe, how you doing? want a great Rugrats game, try Rugrats Search for Reptar. In fact, too bad, to Melody. <laughs> Melody just you broke up the. You 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 literally threw off my groove. Wow, he threw off my groove. You threw off the Emperor's groove. That? This generally reminds me. There's a new Rugrats game coming out. That's like eight bit and shit. Is there? Uh, I don't know if it's out yet, but yeah, it was announced a while back. I'm sorry, you've thrown off the long boy's groove. Sorry! I'm taking the kids for ice cream, dude. <laughs> that is, <laughs> that is legitimately the best um, uh, Disney movie. Where's the ice cream? <laughs> At least the best 2D Disney movie, I think. Ice cream mountain. That's it is definitely the funniest. When you kids so much ice cream, you'll be eating until you're grown-ups. So what if it's never been done before? Okay, I'm gonna, if, while this is playing, I'm gonna find the fight music that we're gonna beat this thing to death with. I found the game. It's not out yet, and there's no, like, it's coming out in 2024, but it's like an NES game aesthetic. NES game? Yeah. It's Wait, who's called Rugrats Adventures in Game Land. And they made it into, it's like a new NES game. Who's, who's making it? Uh, good question. The Mix Games. The M-I-X Games. The M-I-X Games. I mean, you just talking about it, like, at first, it made me think that, like, it was being published by, like, Outright. Who's essentially the modern THQ. <laughs> They have made one other game that has had six user reviews. Om nom nom. Oh, excuse me, we're back, my dudes. Hey, welcome back to oh. Raw. No, no, I don't think, like, actual NES game. I think... I think he means, like, games in, like, the style of an NES game. Yeah, but it's, like, using NES-type engine. I see. And you can also use... There's, like, an HD, like, art mode as well, if you want to do that. But, like, yes, it's, it's, it's made with, like, NES graphics. Okay. All right, chat. We got uh, we got some uh, choices here, right? I'll give you some choices. We got Skyrim battle music. <laughs> we got the Bowser's Inside Story battle music, and we have Meta Ridley from Metroid Prime. Which one do you want? What hall? For I what? Mean, I mean the mu. I'm talking about the music that we're gonna fight this thing to. Oh, great, right, because you gotta make it, you gotta make the, you gotta make the, the entrance. No, no, I mean, like, this, this right here is the music that we're gonna be fighting to, because it's so yeah. fucking awesome that we need the music, you know? Yeah. Alright, um, uh, alright, they're saying Skyrim battle music, Dova Keen. Okay, Skyrim it is. Here we go. To battle! <laughs> Uh, ah! For the motherland! Let's go! No! <laughs> oh God. Ow! I forgot you could get locked by these fuckers. They're like electric frogs. They're not electric. That is what would be the, the suits taking damage. No! That is so oh, fucked shit. up. Oh my god, can we actually do it? <laughs> yeah! Got this is stress. fucked. This is fucked. We got the stats. For mighty Talos? <laughs> We bring him back the religion of Talos with this one, dog. Oh God. Uh, fight to the last breath. No way. <laughs> By the nines. Yes. Hooray! Woo! Yeah, baby. Do, do, 
do 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 Oh my god. And you know the best part, chat? We We can't even bring him back to the ship. <laughs> so this was all for nothing. Great. Nah, it's all for the it's all for the game. Also, I'm frozen. Oh sorry. <laughs> Boarky, thank you for following. You're now a member of the Long Boy Club for life. How could you not follow after that? Shit? Exactly. Oh my god, they all joined in on bringing it back! <laughs> Look at that, they all joined in. Yeah, that happens when you leave them behind. They just join in on whatever's happening. They're just like, fuck it, I'm doing this shit too. <laughs> They're like, okay, well, you know what? I guess. <laughs> I guess this is what we're doing now. <laughs> also, I think it's because of the mod, but when you pluck a Pikmin, they stretch out like all shit. They're like fucking rubber bands. You gotta, yeah, yeah, you gotta like they stretch out. out. You've seen it, right? I like to think it's the imposter, like fucking just like violently pulling them up with his like wicked mind powers. Wow. <laughs> Man, we're making like, good progress. Is... You see how they like boink, boink? Yeah, yeah. I... Yeah, yeah. The... Boink. <laughs> oh, I and right there is the power. Pikmin. Yeah, yeah, I kind of want some of that too, you know. I want some of that Fortnite cock and balls among us, you know. <laughs> I would like to have some of the some of the poiples. Oh, well, if I, I'll trade you for some reds. Okay. <laughs> All right, we good. You want the rest of these uh, guys here? Nah, I'm good. I I can work with this. Okay. That was that was Ooh, rad as fuck. <laughs> that was. By the nine. <laughs> so you want some of the? So you want some of that juice in those bottles? I mean, we already got some of that juice in the bottles. We got nah. it. We got it to spray. We got some of that spray on strength. That, they, mm. <laughs> that your mom warns you about. Fucking spray on steroids. <laughs> I think I got like one. I think I got like four. <laughs> four whiteies here. Oh, Steph! I almost completely forgot. There's a scene. There's an entire arc in Dragon Quest XI that you will absolutely love. It is an entire. Okay. Enactment of what wrestling is. Oh boy. You, you know have what? to see it. If there's one person, if there's one um, a creative that I could trust with wrestling. Oh fuck me, I used it up again. God damn it. That's right. I'm so used to like um uh, Pikmin 3 because in Pikmin 3, like you you like um uh, command them by holding um uh, down on the D-pad. Mm. So like I'm not <laughs> I'm not used name? to the power up juice being. I down. got all your mins again. <laughs> I don't know how this. I didn't even do anything. This is like the weirdest thing about this mod. I forgot the name of the the area that you were in, but it is an entire arena full of like people who are making names for themselves, like wrestlers. There is like a macho, like buff as fuck guy. It is Banui He takes day. a name and he's like fucking like Nacho Libre style where he's like doing it for the kids and for the orphanage and shit. But the entire thing is is amazing. And then one of one of your party members who's like the most homosexual character in the game. Of course. Takes he he fucking takes on a new I a like wrestler type identity. <laughs> he takes on a new starts, identity. He starts going <laughs> ham with it. Incredible. It's awesome. I love him. You got you got to see it. I, I got to figure out what the name of the, the place was called and you got to you got to watch it. And come on. Finish up. I know you can do it. You got more whites? I do not have any more whiteies. Okay, well then that's all the whiteies. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. You have a couple. Do what? Yeah, you got oh, a couple. I there. I have one. Well then throw them. <laughs> oh, oh. Every little bit helps. <laughs> the screen shaking. Holy shit! <laughs> My boy is poison. Poison. It nearly as bad as electricity. Come on, dude. Electricity in this game like instantly kills them. Really? Yeah. Man. They nerfed. They nerfed it in like three and, and above. Yeah. But yeah, in this yeah. game, like it fucking kills you. 
Wait, 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 it kills you or it kills- It doesn't kill you, you, but it kills them right. instantly. Like, no, like, no chance to, like, get rid of the effects. <laughs> you gotta make sure that it's the yellow ones, then. Using yeah, it's it nice. Because, like, they're immune, so. The final boss has, like, all elements, so, like, you want to take more yellows because that's the one that kills them the fastest. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Whereas, like, the other ones, like, you know, yeah, they can you can shrug like, it off. Like fire, poison, water. You can get rid of those, like, without oh, them dying. Yeah. So, but the electricity just kills them instantly. So the strat really is to go down with, like, more yellows. Sure, yeah. It's... I, I hate that boss. It took me so long <laughs> to actually destroy it. See, Brain, that's fucking nasty, dude. <laughs> I hate that this is the only thing that we have to do here. You just gotta wait for them to finish. Mm -hmm. And they may not even finish by the time the sun goes down. Look at this! They're so slow! There okay, there you go. Right. Next order of business. Wow, how great. Uh... I don't think we're gonna get through this until the next day. Uh, what we can do... Here, just throw two Pikmin up there. Throw two of them? Oh. Or like a purple. Like, throw it up there. There you go. Now toss me some boys. Boys! Shit. I don't think this is gonna work. I don't think we're gonna have enough time. Oh, I I, my, I mistook my cursor for something. Yeah, I'm not sure right, we have enough time over for here. this, buddy. Oh, here you are! Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Poiples. Yeah, the purple berries. Purple the purple berries. berries. The oh, we got a dice berries. berries We'll come and get that tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I enjoy how Oh, it is Bunny Day. I just realized it's now, as of right now, it is Easter Sunday. It is Easter Sunday right now. All right. I think I got one more day in me, and then we got to call quits. That is... Mm, that's all right. Let's move to a different area then, because we're not going to be able to do much here. If we want to make, like, one more good day, we should go to a different area so we can make the most of it. All right. Well, then, should we should we go to, like, the first area again, or what? Um, we should have access to other areas now. We've gotten, like, two glow pieces, so... I enjoy how in this, the, uh... The background is just a black void. Um, I don't think it's supposed to be a black void. No, no, it's not supposed to be. I know it's, like, meant to be, like, something else. It's supposed to be oh, stars, hello. but the mod apparently glitched it out. Yeah, yeah. And Easter is actually a national holiday in a lot of countries. I was really surprised. Is it a national holiday over in Japan? Yeah, I was going to ask the same thing. All right, let's see. Oh, yep. I know that little... That little um, uh, ditty anywhere. Perplexing pool. This is probably where we're going to find the blue guys. Uh, you think? Christmas isn't even. Hell no, Christmas isn't even. Even though, like, they fucking love Christmas over there, though. Yeah? Yeah. Like, Japan loves Christmas. Yeah. It's been in, um, a lot of anime. Christmas is a work day in Japan. Man. You would think that would be otherwise, considering how much... Considering how much y'all like it over there. Oh, hey, we get the yellowers, too. That's it, all. <clears throat> right. I can't move. Sorry. That's right. Do not. Don't come near me. Don't come near me or my I, sons. I, I, <laughs> Luigi wins by doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the kids don't get gifts. <laughs> yeah. Japan loves Christmas on the surface. It's only important for couples. Oh, I see. Hey, you're getting a lot of reddies. I like taking a lot of reds with me. All right, I'm taking some, uh... I'm taking poiples. Poiples. I'll take... six of them. And the, the whiteies. I'll take... nine of them. I'm gonna take zero. You take zero of, like, all of that? Yeah. Alright, well then I'm gonna go ahead and take some more reds with me. 
I know you have the impression we take it seriously, but that's all in the media, not in real life. I see. <laughs> I think we have a lot of impressions about everything, just oh, yeah, because definitely. we just watch, uh, like, oh, the anime has it, so uh, they must do it, right? Well, like, also, like, to that end, like, um, uh, depending on where you live, you're gonna have, like, impressions about different countries, you know? Oh, shit. Nobody has died. No, but I've taken quite a bit of damage. And you've also taken quite a bit of my guys. Oh, I did, didn't you? Oh, here, you go ahead and take reds because that's all you care about. So. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just not any reason to waste purples here and potentially kill them. Sure, I get you. Because they're hard to get. Hey, we got the we got the leaf boogers. Actually, no. Wait, keep the yellow one for later. Ninety percent of people never heard of it. Wow, not really surprising. Yeah. All right, I'm taking the leaves over there. I'm taking the pool by the horns. Where, so when do we want to go out there and get the yellowers? Oh, yellow! Oh, the old yellowers. Oh shit! Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. How oh, great! <laughs> you take Easter as serious as we take the stack of times and you call it that. <laughs> Why does everyone keep saying that? A stack of dimes you call in that. It's a bit- it's an impressive stack of dimes, ain't it, chat? This is the best goddamn stack of dimes y'all have ever seen. I don't even know when it started, but I'm fucking running back. with it. Oh, what now? My birdie friend. That's the same as back. My bestie. Hey, birdie. Are they back in chat? Ah! Oh, yes, hello. Yes, and... Hello. Piece of word. Ah, oh, why are you clicking out like five times? <laughs> I don't I think, think it is. Yeah, exists. that's that makes a lot of sense because Lumi, my other friend, yeah, they they know more wrestling than I do, and they they literally described you as that earlier. So I was like, what is this? Why is everyone saying this? I'm like, it's a wrestling thing. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, it's a wrestling <laughs> thing. All right, we have a cave over here. I forgot how you get to the yellows. I'll tell you what, you your friend over here. Your friend Lumi is very based, I'll say. I love Lumi. They're um, like a brother than me. Lumi is undeniably based. Anyways, um, I need your help. What do you need my help with? I'm coming over there. One of these, again. Where the heck are you? I can get the, oh. the yellows. You're like way over there. <laughs> to to answer that one. What now? What do you want it's to what? Every wrestling fan knows the ring apron is. I don't freaking know. I'm not a wrestling fan. Is what? Toad, answer that one. I did. I, that's. I mean, They're asking. Mm -hmm. The answer anyway, is that it's the hardest guys. part of the ring. Toad, the answer is that it's the hardest part of the ring. Oh. Everybody I knows that. Know what that means. It means that if you get two places onto the ring apron, which is like the edge of the ring, right? Ah. Then, <laughs> then it hurts the hardest because because that's where like the most um uh, density is. Like um, oh. that's where like the planks of wood are, most. I never that's thought where like the that. densest planks of wood are. Anyways, so. I gotta deal with this fucker. I suppose Die. I could also Look, come up there. Nah, you're good. Okay. These things aren't really that hard to deal with. They're just annoying. Hmm. Well, then they don't must... even throw them. They just, like, pick them up and throw them down. Alright, well, then there's gotta be a way I can utilize myself a bit better here. Hmm, that is a uh, Dendori issue, my friend, as they call it. That is a you problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is what you're saying right now. I think- Oh, fuck, nah, not you. You got the flame, man. We got the flame. It's another honk, sure. Okay, um, uh, do you need more of my red guys? Hmm, maybe. It feels like you could use them. Uh, where's the yellow? Oh, actually, I need to go. I also need some whites. 
Give me like five. No, yeah, give me all of them. Okay. Oh, so now you want the whites. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chat, so now you of, want them. Take that out of context right now, Chuck. <laughs> I love that wrestling almost has its own language. I know, I can perpetually confuse Toad. <laughs> and anyone else who's not into wrestling. I can do the same thing though. I say I can... tons of shit in Dragon Quest and people are like, huh, what, fuck? Like I can call people the marks and old. they won't know what I mean until I tell them. Attack the butt! Attack the butt! Uh, being a mark essentially means that you essentially means that you're a big fan of something in today's day and age. But back in the circus days, it meant something completely different. Um, back in the circus days, it essentially meant that you essentially meant that you were um uh, that you were marked. You were essentially marked by the carnies, in a way. Jesus Christ! Kill him! Kill him, you fuckers! Oh, I should have kept him going. Fuck. And you lost a lot of guys up there. Oh, I got rid of the huge obstructions, though. Let's see, where are you guys going? You are going... The right way, okay. They won't be hurt by anything else, I don't think. You were marked by the carnies as a person easy to con money out of. Exactly. That's exactly what it was. And that's what a mark is. Although these days is mostly just shorthand for you like something and you do it without shame. Um, it's mostly used as a derogatory thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're like a- You, my friend, are like a Dragon Quest mark, in that mm -hmm. sense. Which, like, you know, I- I just up about Dragon Quest, honestly, and I'm just like, I'm done- I'm done suppressing that. I've played, like, three Dragon Quest games within the past month. On my channel. I've never I played a Dragon Quest them. game, like, they like are seriously. Super awesome. I bet they are awesome. They are the forefather of the JRP genre in existence, and the history of Dragon Quest is very influential into what role-playing games are now. Isn't that also a Toriyama thing? Yeah! Toriyama but, designed the characters. How the fuck did he, like, change, change multiple, multiple genres and mediums? <laughs> really? Like in the span of I, a lifetime. I genuinely had a period of mourning thinking about like not only Dragon Ball but also Dragon Quest and how much it meant to me and how the person who was very largely responsible for it being successful was gone. I like I felt a part of me like disappear for like two or three days. It was oof. <laughs> Cause like if that like the character designs that were very familiar and the style is very familiar if it wasn't in the original like first few games it wouldn't have gotten off like it did in japan and eventually influenced so much in culture it's like such a crazy butterfly effect that nobody thinks of mm. dragon quest took almost all its cues from uh from um uh Ultima 3, no lie. Yeah, Ultima, Ultima 3 was, things... was an inc it was an American um, a computer game that created the tile-based RPG out of whole cloth. Yeah, that was one of the games that was uh that the um that Yuji Horii, the creator of Dragon Quest, was inspired by, as well as um just the team who started up Dragon Quest in the first place. Mm -hmm. It was that in uh Wizardry. Those two games um influenced the development of, of Dragon Quest. Or Dragon Warrior, as it was known in the U.S. Dragon Warrior. Place. Yeah, that's what it was called, and yeah, it's awesome. funny to think of. Yeah, that's it's funny to think of now. Oh, yeah. It is very much so. We were old Dragon Warrior. Oh, come from Panda. <laughs> oh my God, Jack Black. <laughs> it is funny. Jack Black Panda. Uh. <laughs> it's always that in wizardry. So like, where the heck are your guys? Do I have all um, guys? Oh, I they probably went back to. Uh, I gave. I, I I brought back the giant burning uh, bulbor back with them. All right. So give me more guys. You need more guys. Give me your guy power. Okay. 
Here's my guy power. Do you need... I mean, at this point, I have, like, reds and... Po uh, reds and poiples. That's what I got. I just need reds. Usually, Hori also took the, um, uh, decision to make Dragon Quest British because Ultima used British English. That's why? Oh, gosh, that's funny. That's actually crazy. She's not wrong, though. Every character, even before there was even the ability to have voice actors in, 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 in any RPG, Dragon Quest games have inherently just had European accents for the characters in just the dialect. And then when uh, Dragon Quest VIII came out, the characters were just like British, Scottish, British. Irish, uh, everything. It's fucking funny. Let's see, why are we like bringing it back with the reds? Just go and get the yellows. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna... I can't do that yet, I gotta calm down. Yeah. <laughs> there they are. Hey, it's Come me. Back to nerding. That is genuinely what content is nowadays, Samu. Mm hmm. Also, I apparently, I can't video. see Samu's messages. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm not seeing. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone's messages except for Ashley's. Give me a second. So, like, chat. Do the app on my phone. Anyways, uh, I can't skip this. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. Yeah, I was watching. I was watching an interesting YouTube video uh, earlier. It was uh, when I'd been, been had been like shoved in my uh, my algorithm for a while, and it was just like a guy playing Sonic One, and like the title was just it was just, like playing Sonic One and like having a, a topic of like there's no better time to be a YouTuber slash content creator slash artist than now, and they made a lot of really interesting like talk points about it, and one of the main ones was like besides like being genuine and being authentic was like. There's an audience for people who nerd about nerd stuff. No, they and yeah, it's exactly. Becoming like very large and rampant, despite what's happening with monetization, people living in the industry, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I do think that, like, you know, especially like, I'm personally glad that we're out of the era of people being mad about things, you know. Or rather, just kind of like a bunch of YouTubers being mad about things, and they're getting big over it. Or at least, like, that's becoming a little less common. Uh, yeah. Because, you know, especially... I like, hate it. And I do think, like, part of that is also because, you know, just, just sort of, like, the culture in general these days. Especially, like, out of the shadow of COVID and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just kind of, like, you know, just, <laughs> like, the complete, like, inundation of just bad news and stuff. <sighs> A lot of people don't want to be upset. They don't want to. They don't want to be like angry at stuff. They want like relief from that. And what better relief than someone who just unabashedly likes things? Yeah. <laughs> who just unabashedly likes a thing? People are more angry about random shit more than ever. Well, listen. I would have to say that there are still a lot of people out there that don't want to see that. And maybe I'm just yeah. kind of speaking from my own personal stance, right? But, especially as someone who works in news, wait till the fall riots are going to start across the country. Listen, dude. Listen. We're putting that down. We're putting all that shit to the left. Alright? Because, in my opinion, especially as someone who works in news, I get enough shit that pisses me off every single day. You know? I see it all. I see every bit of it. So when I come on here and when I, you know... And when I talk about things, I either want to be happy about it, or I want to make a big gag out of it, or I want to just kind of point at something and be like, look at how weird this is, or, or look at how um, uh, bad it is. Isn't it, like, just completely absurd that they would do this, right? Yeah, you do do that, honestly. So I admittedly take a different approach to it. Like, I, I am admittedly the type of person who can get mad at things. But I get mad in a sort of passionate way. Like, I get mad about, oh, I'm mad because I don't like this, and this is why I don't like it, and et cetera, et cetera. But I, I do admire your approach to it, honestly, because I, I, I do see that you do it like that. Thank you. We all have our different ways of approaching, like, some people approach it with anger, some people approach it with frustration, some people approach it with, like, depression. But it's whatever, you know, people, especially content creators, they can tackle issues however they want to, and they can choose yeah. not to tackle issues. So, but yeah, it would be how it be. 
I just don't understand why people would uh, kill each other over X, Y, and Z. I mean, there's a whole conversation to be had about that, and I can tell you straight up why a lot of the bad shit happens in the world, and a lot of that is money, a lot of that is politics, but that's a whole conversation, you know? That's mm -hmm. not ultimately what I want to have here. What I want to have here is, you know, I want to share my love for the things I love, and if things are bad, I just want to point at it and say, hey, that's bad, and then move on to the next thing. Or, mm. you know, if it's bad in a way that makes me laugh, I want to make a whole thing out of it. I, I want to make, like, a big kind of a goofy <laughs> thing out of it. So, yeah, that's essentially my philosophy when it comes to this sort of stuff. Obviously, I'm not... I don't always stick to that because I'm human, and there are things that piss me off regardless of what I yeah, try to do with it. But, in general, that's what I try to do. So, mm. yeah. And if... And, you know, if you're someone like Toad, obviously, who's who's able to kind of look at things that genuinely, you know, piss them off and, you know, approach it from from a pissed off points of view, then that's also fine. But for yeah. me, I I'm just I'm just so I'm 24 and I'm tired. You know, I'm so <laughs> I'm tired. And I'm angry and tired. I'm so tired. And also anxiety. I have anxiety, I've got depression, I've, I'm mad about things on the inside that are hard to express. Yeah. I just want to have fun sometimes. <laughs> and I know yeah. most VTubers go for the good vibes only route, and I'm totally fine with that, but when I have like emotions that I or my community is dealing with, and if I have the energy to deal with it, I usually just deal with it. Like, right then and there. I have been, like, very overtly emotional on my stream. And, you know, the best part about it is my community embraces that part of me. And they don't shut me down for it. And they comfort me. And they comfort each other. And that is what makes it cool. I know it's not for everybody. But it's genuinely something that's worked for me. And it's something that I want to continue to do. Mm. Yeah. I mean, like, when it comes to stuff like that, I try to be productive about it. Uh <laughs> I try to kind of be like, all right, well, you know, this, you know, this is happening, but here's what I'm going to try and do about it. Uh, and I like that a lot. And yeah, I don't know. I feel like we're getting on big soap boxes here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're getting, I on, getting big on soap boxes. I'm my channel is about just like soap boxing all the time. Oh, well, about a lot of things. And I love it. Oh, well, yeah. I well, like content creators that do that, too. I mean, I like getting on big soapboxes about things that I'm passionate about, like wrestling and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, you come in here, I'll talk about, like, you know, one single wrestling topic for, like, ten minutes. So, yeah. Uh, especially if it's just kind of, like, more Western wrestling. If you tell me to talk about Joshi, it's not my thing. I do not <laughs> know enough about Joshi or Japanese women's wrestling. That's more my friend Ari's bag. Yeah, I feel <laughs> so, that. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, do we want to continue with this or what? Yes, we do. Okay. I can't. That's that's you. Oh, no, no, it, that's you. <laughs> oh, I guess. Wait, you wait. Didn't click on the thing. Wait, wait. That's uh, that's both of us actually. Oh, okay. Well, I couldn't tell. I tried pushing a button earlier, and I, you might have clicked away at that moment. So, like, the fact that this is two-player honestly makes this a, it makes this section a little awkward. Yeah. Because it's very confusing. Oh, wait, I know what I can do. Don't worry, I can handle this. Let's save. Yeah, as, 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 they, as, as they have called it in Pikmin, you know what Dendori is? No one and will fund Cameron. my car addiction. Well, listen, you w you still won't find that relief here. <laughs> I, will not fund, I will not fund your car addiction, my friend. Oh, God. fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh shit! Dude. As soon as I said Dendori, it triggers him. No, Dendori is the uh, is a a, a a term that they coined uh, a little bit more in Pikmin 4, which is basically the organized uh, management of multiple tasks. Okay. Which is what Pikmin is about. It's like doing a lot of things at once and doing it efficiently. So they coined it more in uh, in Pikmin. Four. And a lot it's of people almost were time like, for a 120 like, seconds minute Cheetos break if you my dudes. No, no, I ain't. Do it. Uh, I can't move. Oh, sorry. Just a second. 
Um, if, if, if you couldn't, like, manage things well, it was, people in the Pikmin community was like, oh, that's a Dandori issue. And then, like eventually, eventually I mean. Nintendo marketed it as that. Like, they said, oh, you're, you're having a Dandori issue. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of funny. Alright, get your ass over here. We need to propagate. Is now copyright claimed by Shigeru. <laughs> Miyamoto was, had a lot of creative say in for honestly i mean like I pikmin was for the better like, of the worst i mean pikmin was like his like last baby right mm. so rather like that was like his most recent baby so it'd be nice to see miyamoto make something new honestly the... i have a lot of buzzwords for you samu <laughs> not for you specifically but a lot of words that i say you're just like don't say that what's with this and... music <laughs> I forgot. Why does it sound more oh, soft? No, it no, it's because we're leaving people behind. No, 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 no. It's because we didn't get any treasure. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the panic in your voice. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> no, it's I don't not like, anything bad. I don't like leaving just people didn't behind. Take any treasure home. Okay, so like, it's so like I have a bit of a story, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I was playing Pikmin three, and it was like my roommate's. It was like my roommate's first first uh, time seeing Pikmin 3 oh. and 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 I accidentally left some flying Pikmin behind after one day and and the screen hang rather <laughs> rather the screen hung around long enough for him to see the flying Pikmin die and hear their death sound oh, and so when no. the flying Pikmin were like Wee! He fucking lost his mind. That was like the hardest I've ever seen him laugh. Oh my god. He was just just like when he heard his fucking high off his ass mind just completely lost all sense of reality. He was gone. That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. It's actually hilarious. It made me laugh. <laughs> Bro was like Captain Falcon in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. He was he was cackling. I've never seen him laugh at something so fucking innocuous in my life. <laughs> okay, so like, uh, I got one more day in me, I think, unless you're ready to go. Oh, no, I, I'm fine. I got one more, too. Okay. We said one more last time, but you know what? What's one more again? Ow. You know, Samu. Um, I do need to pee, though. Okay, go pee. Let's take one more break, in fact. One more break, Chad, and then we'll be back to wrap this up. All right, we got one more day in us. Uh, hey. Let's fucking see how far we can get on the surface. <laughs> we should get a little further now that we have yellows. All right, we can do more we things. Got yellers. Yellers. Uh, let's go and like, like get a surplus of them. I'm glad to see you're still here, Ashley. <laughs> I'd like to try to make this not a one-off because I am genuinely enjoying this. I'm enjoying this I know, too. I don't know if we could ever beat it, but I would Ow. definitely like to do more of this particular stuff. Yeah, sure. I wouldn't mind it. I don't know when, but I will figure that out. Okay, where, hey, where are the three that are on the field right now? Mm -hmm. I'm like wonder oh, because like, it says there are. are three on the I field. I know where they are. They're where the, the uh, yellow onion used to be. Yeah, that ring never misses, but you won't get a gifted sub from it, actually. Okay, I'm gonna get the whiteies out. Alright, well, let's see if Rumi can actually do it. I call you Ru Ah, oh, you suck! Ow! <laughs> Dessert. Toad. You gotta back me up here, brother. Nothing beats a cool, refreshing sip of water. Okay. I'm sorry, but I can't. I can't support a scam artist. <laughs> it's a scam art. I said it says right there. You got a two percent chance to get it. There's no scamming right. going on there. That's exactly what they told me I, on my last gotcha pull. I coded it to be two percent. It says right there that it's two percent. <laughs> Look, I got it one exactly. Long. Oh. Also, Captain Prower, thank you for following. You're now a member of the Long Boy Club for life. Hopefully, you're doing more now. Hello, Giraffe. I am a husky. Do we have any reason to go back up here? 
Uh, the three yellers up there. We got the three yellers. Miles Prower, is that actually like what you're doing there, um, uh, Prower? <laughs> like the, like the Miles Prower type of that thing? That just makes me think of, um, I don't remember his name, but RG Comics gave Tails a dad. Yeah. Wait, wait, do you need me to like throw you, of course, throw you up some I need, guys? I, I need to defend myself. Okay. Well, this then, cool, cool world. Here, you go ahead and take some of the whiteies <laughs> and some of the purpleies. I don't. Well, I don't know if I need whites, but I'll see. I don't know if there's any more poison. Playing some picked men. We are. We're playing. I we're playing men. with. We're playing with some picked men right now. We're having a grand old time. I keep, like, looking at my screen, like, wondering, like, where the fuck you are, and I'm just, like, I can't- I forget that we're playing split-screen, so I'm just, like, mm, where, where- where- where is Toad and what is he doing right now? And, like, I just forget- oh, oh, I can find out by just looking down. <laughs> Wait, hold on. We literally hey, built a bridge. There? We literally built a oh, bridge yeah. to get over there. I forgore. I forgore we build a bridge. I'm coming over there. Because it kind of sucks for me to just sit here and do nothing. Here I come. Here I come, I am Cinnamon. Okay, I am going to propagate some yellows. Is it possible to feel bad for a serial character? <laughs> Yeah, possibly. I kind of grieve for the Applejacks mascots every time I buy a box because I, I remember what they could have had. That's like the serial version of gentrification, dude. <laughs> My god, it's so... Hello, Mario. It's genuinely depressing. <laughs> Forgot who you are. All I know is I followed you when you were playing WWE. Well, you remember who I am best, now. That's literally the best thing that you could have remembered him for, honestly. I was about to say, like, that's, like, literally what I mostly do. Right now, I'm doing kind of a special little thing in Mabuber with my friend, uh, with my friend Toad here. Sorry, give me a second. There you are. And I need more mins. Okay. I need more men! Also, if we do ever play this again, we do need to go back to the first area. Yeah, we do. Because, <laughs> because, because we gotta get we the... Got... Because now we have like the actual guys to do it, but we also need the. Water. We also need to get the bitter spray as well, so I we we don't do what I did and completely forget that. Hello, Mario. What else can we even? Oh wait, there's a cave. I almost forgot. I know you killed Biggie Cheese. You were jealous of his fame. That's so long ago. Wow. Yeah, I can't believe I did that too. Chad, what's he talking about? I have no idea. Ball King Jr., thanks for following me. You're now a member of the Lumboy Club for life. Toad for getting the most overpowered tool in this game. <laughs> what now? Um, um, oh, no, I didn't forget it. I actually found where, where I missed it the first time, but same as referring to that moment that I talked about where I completely missed it and could not get any of it for the entire game. Yeah, yeah, Snake, like, you followed, you followed me, like, a year ago. I think you even joined my Discord server. Hopefully, hopefully you've been doing well, my friend. Alright. Before we go cave, I'm going to go... Oh my god. <laughs> Got the robo mode now. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's gonna be weird. Boy, Vey, not again. At least you don't have to change the way you speak. Yeah. No, I do not. But for me, I had to turn off one of my redeems, and you want to know why? Damn, I, why? 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 This is a toad voice. <laughs> and I have to do it for anywhere from two minutes to five. And with my current throat condition, I just can't do it right now. Ow. What do I Anyways, deserve? Was... The things being thrown at me? That's a little oh. harsh. Oh, egg. 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 Oh. Oh. 
I, I can bottle that. Little... And we high. The red liquid you see contains a thingamaboober. Anyways, Why throw purple, 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 throw purple. Throw the purple. Throw away purple. Throw away purple. Oh my god. If you throw a purple when those things happen, also give me more mints. It was scary. I thought that was like a new type of enemy that we didn't interact with. It is with an yet. enemy, and we haven't interacted with it. What the hell was that? <laughs> I forgot what they're called, but they make your Pikmin just start panicking. They're they're otherwise harmless. Oh, okay. But if you throw a purple Pikmin and it just impacts the ground, it kills all of them and they drop the uh, nectar. Okay. My God, my. <laughs> I'm glad that big Kev barely works now. I don't know what happened, but it's just too much for it now. It's just too much for my poor fucking CPU to handle, I guess. The CPU have that I spent played... hundreds of dollars on. Have you ever played the Misadventures on stream? Yes. Long, <laughs> long ago, I did. But... So that's why you have the Kev in there. I've never watched but... Ed and Ed But also okay. because... There's a wrestler called Kevin Nash, and one of his nicknames is Big Kev, and and the redeem name is Big Kev because he has yeah. the Big Kevin face. <laughs> That's so, up, right, yeah. I'm amused by the Arkham Asylum death screen. I'm a, I'm a death screens. I'm a the right. <laughs> the first uh, two boys. games in the Arkham games are pretty cool. Oh wait, wait, wait take your hold boys. On. Let me hold on. Let me. Check this first. See if we need yellows. Snooping as usual. I see. <laughs> it's not big. Snooping as usual. I see. <laughs> Alright, let me check this. We need yellows, so yeah, let's try to get like yellows. a good portion of it. Right. <laughs> so most of the things we kill here, we need to like make sure that we. Get I have them. propagated a few of them, I think. Oh, only 11? Jesus. Alright, Team Brain, let's see if you got it in ya. I don't think there's anything else we can kill. Are we sure? Or maybe you didn't. You owe me 10 bucks either way. Impossible. Impossible. We gotta fucking get something here, dude. Get your. Or get your leaves over here. We have like 11 more. We need more. We need more than 11, right? Uh, I think we should be fine as long as- I think if even if you just had 5. Cause like, the, the electricity thing is just like, getting past electrical hazards and you can like, squeeze through all that. Mm -hmm. Thread through, as long as you don't like, get them killed. Alright, so... I'm gonna deposit some reds okay. and get more yellows. People have won gifted subs off of ring toss. No lie, they have. Yeah. They have. I don't lie. I do not lie. If you oh, wait, get... I have to wait for the reds go back in. If you get the ring on, <laughs> if you manage to hit me with the ring, you will, you will. No lie, get a gifted sub. I'm not bullshitting you on that. Oh yeah. I wish I was rich enough to give people subs. <laughs> I'm trying to like... Those guys aren't gonna give us much of shit. What? They're just really small, they give you like one or two. I think no. we're good. Okay. Well. We got a- we got a decent handful, honestly. As long as we don't kill them. Alright. Besides, we don't have enough time to do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> if we want to make a full, like, worth of a day, we gotta, we gotta go into a cave. All right, let's go into the cave then. Alrighty. Take my mins. It's always won by people who don't need it, though. LOL. Exactly. It's always won by the most privileged of us. Wait, wait. Do we need to like divide up real quick? Uh, just take my mins. Oh, okay. Yeah, remember you gotta take them and go in. 
Otherwise, we won't take them all in. Yep, go. Go forth. Let's go. You can't buy a sub? Wait, what? I literally can't buy a sub with my Japanese debit card. You can't? It's like someone... Twitch won't freaking take it. Can't you just use PayPal? That's weird. Or something like, like there's that. There's like Japanese streamers on the platform. I would think they would be able to do shit like that. Take my money, Twitch. Literally. Actually, I'm actually really flat. <laughs> actually, I am genuinely flattered that you would spend that you would spend your money on on my little channel. You know, they don't want that inflated ass money. It's still money, dude. Take it. Are you telling me that Bezos doesn't want every cent? Apparently. He doesn't want every <laughs> cent that he can get out of commoners. Come on now. He's even stupider than I thought. I mean, he's not wrong, though. The exchange is probably really fucked up with that. Oh no, like, I know that their rate of inflation is terrible. Life. Hey, Melody, resubscribe with two months. Thank you very much. Your donation to the club will not will not be wasted. No, genuinely, I'm very flattered that anyone would like <laughs> would like I'm gonna spend money on my channel. Mm, I feel the same way. I'm always um, very grateful for whatever people throw at me. Yeah. And nothing just, special, but hope to God that Twitch doesn't consume it. The greedy fucks. <laughs> God. I have genuinely like panicked in my earlier days of Twitch of like, oh my god, if I don't make this much money, it will be Hello, consumed Mario. by Twitch. Pikmin. Pikmin. I need to be more careful with how much I throw away. I may have gone another influx of avatar cons, but I still gotta hold on to as much as I can for like IRL things. What the fuck? Uh oh. I accidentally <laughs> let one of the yellowers die. Oh fuck. Well, you screwed us all. <laughs> Pomat! Pomato. Pomato! That reminds me of like a Japanese baby, a Japanese on a Game Boy fan sad. Where it's like a guy pouring like a bunch of ketchup on the island on a fucking um, uh, fried egg. He's like, Pomato, Mato, Mato, ketchup, the, the. It's really fun. I like oh, it. that was very, very silly. Japanese advertising for like early 2000s shit is very fun. <laughs> I need to get a replacement bike tire tube on Monday. Well then, I have a downright diabolical idea. Hit me with it. They turn you down for credit cards the instant they see a non-Japanese name. <laughs> Wait, wait, they already just cancelled my my banks on the debit card, which I'm worked with PayPal, but my new debit card that was literally turned down for debit cards because I'm a foreigner, essentially, doesn't work with PayPal or Etsy. Turn okay. seven to the giraffe girlfriend. Well, what from, what from, like, my gym partner's a monkey or something? No, oh, God. The one that's, like, constantly off-screen. I have never... I saw, like, teasers of that when I was younger. I wasn't allowed to watch Cartoon Network's weirder shit. I'll tell you what, that fucking, that fucking giraffe, they made, they made the top tier in my, um, uh, ranking cartoon, um, uh, um, uh, giraffe's tier list when I first became oh, a VTuber. Fun. I can't think of too many... Oh, speaking of giraffe games, have you played, uh, have you played Giraffe Town? I've not. I don't even know what that is. Oh, you gotta play Giraffe Town. It is the dumbest, stupidest game about a giraffe ever. <laughs> okay. I wanna. I, there are I want some you to send horror aspects of it, but it's not like Resident Evil horror. It's like stupid, ridiculous horror that happens in between. There's like a new horror <laughs> game coming out that's like a found footage type of thing, right? And it's like. All of these, like, different zoo animals that are, like, you know, like, eldritch beasts. And the first one that the devs showed was a giraffe. Oh, that's fucking funny. Like, like, <laughs> there were at least five people that, like, added me on Twitter saying, Hey, Seb, is this you? <laughs> and I'm just I like... I will... I will warn you, though, if like, you ever play Giraffe Town, um, it does have some gore. 
in it. it so it. Okay. make sure that the audience rating is up. It probably mm. will change it because of Twitch's new features, but there are moments where there is there is decapitation at some point. Oh, uh, I don't know if that's goofy then. I, I would just say it's, that's it's goofy boring. for a while up to that point, and that's like the bad ending. Oh, so like it just becomes <laughs> like a fucking horror thing after a certain. It point starts time. very goofy and ends up becoming very horrific. Yes. I don't know if I'm down for that, but I'll I'll look into that's it. That's fair enough. No more robot. I can say I can say at the beginning it's very very silly. I'm excited but also terrified since I don't like seeing animals get hurt, even if they're like oh, video yeah. game animals. It's like an anthropomorphic cartoony giraffe, but I know what you mean. I think I'm we're also talking. Sensitive. about- I think we're also talking about like the zoo horror game too, which oh, has yeah, like yeah. photorealistic animals in it. It's oh, not yeah. like amphros. Yeah. It's just like genuine animals that you would find in a zoo. <laughs> Anyways, I think those are your. I think those are your boys. Um, I grabbed him. Or I thought I did. Hey Toad, is this your? <laughs> hey Toad, is this your boy? Is this my boy? Ah! Okay. Don't worry, I can call my boys back when I need to. Come on, get over here. Ha! You oh, fool! Man. You dummy! No! Oh, shit, the thing beats a cool, refreshing sip of water. Get their asses out of there! Okay, only one died. Oh, shit. I really hate yellow. that. I would don't do the C stick thing. I would just like throw them on there. All right. Anyways, I have. <laughs> I need water. Come on. Oh, that horror game that's basically the thing. Yeah, yeah, that one. How about you take some of my yellows because you seem to be more cautious so all right you take some of the yellows <laughs> oh they're um they're not being hello taken. mario I'm oh sorry, guys. You hey ahead. blackest beast what's up dude now that's awesome <laughs> oh hey spiders oh, god i almost fucking choked on my cough drop One, like straight into my fucking esophagus. Get oh, yeah, over things. here! Uh, Jesus! I would be careful with those. They will ignite themselves on fire, and whatever thing is not flame proof is going to get caught on fire. Right, well, let's let's kind of bait this guy over here. Hold on. Oh, those don't daze. Oh shit! Oh shit, they're dead. They're dead! Well, at the very least, it's a fire guy. Oh. Okay. Alright, we gotta make sure that we use the fire on these guys then. They don't die instantly, but like, it's just smarter to do it so you don't have to worry about much. Anyway, Ducky! Look at my boy. Look at my silly little boy. Also, what soda is this? I think that's Dr. Pepper. Wait, wait, no, it's no, RC no. Cola. RC Cola? Mm hmm. I just got back from AEW Collision. That's fucking rad, dude. I hope you had fun. I know that. One of the matches was Edge versus Zack Ryder, or as probably more common people, common people, as more people probably know it, um, <laughs> um uh, Matt Cardona versus Adam Copeland. Actually, no, that would be the one that more marks know. The one that more normies would know is Zack Ryder versus Edge. But uh, me being the normie and still not knowing what the fuck is happening. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's fine. Just, just nod your head. It's okay. I'm nodding. Just nod nodding your head. Politely. I won't lie. The fact that like Matt Cardona came out to challenge Adam Copeland was fucking rad, given their history. That's awesome. I'm glad that Matt Cardona has that opportunity. Ooh, lipstick. Um, RC is say. still being produced by who? <laughs> Like, who be buying that? 
serious. <laughs> you're just like throwing them all over the place for me to grab. Like, yeah, just you take it. Just, take just it, fucking just take them and leave me alone. <laughs> exactly. Take it and leave me alone. Also, to Steb's community, I apologize if I've been coughing like I have the fucking plague. I have been having a dry throat. It's been fucking freezing over here. Please he does, help me. He does, in fact, have the plague. That's for shootsies, brother. And it was an awesome match. I okay, want to watch and it. I am not sick, but I am definitely weary. I'm tired of it being frigid over here. Lip I'm ready service. for actual spring. It's fucking 30 degrees over here. I think that's all of the treasure yeah. on this floor. You know what? You know how I know that without looking at the map? Oh. Oh, because that little truck. radar, yeah, yeah they... it deactivates, and you will hear a very loud pew. Oh. RC Cola is owned by RC Cola International. No joke. Get the fuck out of here. That's like their only thing, dude. They got they got RC Cola as their only thing, and it's not even that good of a thing. The kings of mid. <laughs> The most mid roll roll a cola. Roll a cola's good. Alright, I'm grabbing just an even Whatever. number of guys. We're just gonna have them all break this down real quick. I'm gonna have them all break this down. Real oh quick. yeah, watch out for these fuckers. Where are they? Um, so these things... Those guys are electobugs. When they... Yeah. Ah! And, oh, don't worry about it. They hey, don't you! Fuck you! Yeah. Uh, if you see on my screen here how they, like, start charging up... Yeah. Um, here. Let me, just let them do it again. Right here. If they're close to each other while they're doing it, they will shoot electric bolts, and they will kill anything that's not yellow. Okay. Like this. Well, yeah, you can't see it, but it's, they, they do that through the wall or through each other or whatever. But yeah, uh, what you do is bonk them. You just bonk, bonk the bean on them. They just slip over, and then bean. they're totally... Also, purple Pikmin, with their impact, they flip them over automatically. Awesome. Oh, I stole all your guys. Hold on. Nah, I expected that to happen. I said that to happen, Siv, you greedy fuck. I'm just gonna give you more yellows, because I don't trust myself in the right now. <laughs> That's alright. Here, I'll give you more red. Just give me, like, most of the yellows or something, I don't know. I, I know said, what I'm doing. I think you said give you all the yellows. <laughs> well, I might as well. Here. I know what I'm doing. Here, just go ahead and take, take that. Take them, just take them all! Alright. Let's go. I'm gonna... Oh, shit. Oh. Bonk their beam. Oh, fuck! Ah! Okay. They don't do anything if they're not, like, next to another charged one. But that's a good reason to panic, I will say. I've, it's almost time for a 120 so seconds minute Cheetos break, my dude. Oh, yeah! It totally is. Panic is a very valid emotion to feel in a big game. Who's dying? Nobody. They're just being fucked up by the, uh... Switch bugs. Oh, they're just being over dramatic. <laughs> I mean, they are kind of being plucked up by their their stalks, so they kind of have a reason to scream. Yeah. Still though, what friggin' drama queens? I'm bringing all these buggos back to the back to the thing of the jigger. POV. Oh, I the, same thing. the sounds of the police after I burned down a hospital. What the hell? What? Mmm, <laughs> chestnuts. 
incredible work by everyone involved. Water chest. Oh, wait. No, these are water chestnuts. Ew, gross. <laughs> I hate water chestnuts. Why do, you, why do you bless a perfectly good Chinese food anything by putting water chestnuts in them? Like, gross. Get that shit out of here, bro. Because, you know, the... the because the people on this earth before yeah, they well, were so is celery celery is a better thing to put in the chinese food dish the people on this earth before they were taken down by big cola they didn't have good taste ow oh, very nice of you snakey it's break time where the heck's the cheetos my dudes wobbles on after this celery is fucking hell's vegetable you're not wrong. Celery is actually worthless. No. It's what? Sorry, I was coughing. Celery's fucking worthless. Oh, yeah. It's got nothing to it. It's, but, yeah, it's honestly better when it's with something. I forget how like, much product placement can, is in this game. If you can either tolerate or enjoy celery in some degree, I can almost guarantee you don't enjoy it raw. I like it in a good fucking, um... Oh my second. god, we're just seeing. We are get seeing right now. I think I gotta no, stop what I'm doing. Do oh my god, get... Gex! 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 Also, I think these are your boys over here. That will get you uh, Gex Okay, yes. Gexes, except for this one. Gex has personality plus. That reminds me that the Gex trilogy is coming out. Amusing, even if the gameplay oh, yeah. itself does not yeah. reflect this jocular style. I hate that to it's from Limited simple, Run, but like Gex has very do. nice 3D graphics, both technically and artistically. Samu Crunchy. And tough challenge. Is no, I'm missing Gitsy. Well, Fuck, you gotta yeah, subscribe, dude. Maybe. This mm, is a tricky gosh. one. The superficial qualities are well. Oh wait, super. you can't hear the us. The opening cinema scene is gorgeous as expected. The, the graphics, graphics are good. good. The character is cool, but this game is just another 3D romp that wishes. Give any whiteies over here that can help our. It's a good uh, game. That can One help our heroes. Out, oh wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, let's just start digging the it up. Biggest use anything. The camera, arguably the worst camera ever in a video game. Even with three different Ooh. camera settings, you'll always have a problem with game view. Control gets a D. Difficulty gets an A. Dab. And design gets a B. Now let's hear some of Gex's goofball off the wall sound bites. Here's some of Gex's goofball Metal off the wall sound bites, chat. Wait, wait, those are my men. Those are not oh, your men. Oh, excuse I mean, me, we're back, my dude. It doesn't matter if you just go by the exit. We're gonna be going down anyway. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm greedy. I want my guys. Mm -hmm, gosh. <laughs> me when I want the kids. Wow, that's real scary, guys. A floating toilet. Welcome, Welcome to, to this, this week's, week's episode, episode of Touched, Touched by, by an uncle. uncle. Yes. Good. Stop. Why, did you flunk out of nasty camp? I forgot what they're using for the new Gex voice. So wait, are they making like a new Gex game? No, it's not new. They're remaking the trilogy, but I oh. don't know if they're using the same voice actor. I thought we were spared of the Gex curse. Well, listen, we're spared of the Gex curse because, like, for a time, Gex was supposed- <laughs> I mean, like, I coded Gex to, like, appear, like, more often than, like, every other Gitsy, and I did that by accident. <laughs> so, like, I went back in and I recoded it so that it has an equal chance of appearing as every other Gitsy. That does not mean it won't appear anymore, it just mm -hmm. means that it won't appear as often. <laughs> Fair enough. But, you know, we gotta be reminded of this week's episode of Touched by an Uncle, according to, uh, Gex. according to Gex. <laughs> so, also, Snaky Cute, my favorite type of noodle is probably angel hair. I enjoy, Ooh. I enjoy angel hair pasta the best. So I've had like, good angel hair pasta in ages. If you're talking about, like, ramen stuff, I enjoy, I enjoy chicken broth the best. I enjoy chicken anything the best. Chicken is better than beef, so. I'm very particular about my ramen. I don't get the ones in the, the little, the little, like the little oh, packs. That's... Whenever I have ramen that is just like the cheap kind, I always have the one that's in the foam cups. And right. I don't like it as much in any other way. Sure. I get you. 
This, oh, the shit. texture of it is just different. Oh shit, we got, we got the hermit crab <laughs> over here. We got that. That is hermit. also my favorite noodle, Samu. My favorite pasta is pink angel. That's what we, what? My, my friend Angel who was here earlier, that's, we call them the noodle because they're, uh, their ah. persona is a, uh, an East, a, uh, Eastern dragon. Okay. That's cute. Like so we that. affectionately call her the noodle. The noodle. I love her. Mm, love. Mm. If you I saw love what that. she looked like, if, if you saw what she looked like, you would understand. <laughs> they have a very pretty and elegant sona. Oh. Oops. I accidentally made a white Pikmin be a glutton. I was talking about ramen. I eat no shim spicy shin. I I enjoy um, uh, the chicken ramen the best. I've not had ramen in quite a bit, actually. I've so. had a miso soup before. Miso soup's real good. Mmm, like very. Oh, watch out for this fucker. Yeah, watch out for the crab, man. Watch out for the crab! Do you eat the crab? So, oh, I see. And now you just. And then we kill gotta it. descend on its soft spot. Yeah. Let's get it right there. Alright, I'm following them back so I can get some of my guys. Yeah. Here. I am making progress over here. Awesome. What the hell? What's your favorite type of milk? I enjoy 1%, buddy. 1%'s the best one. King of sweets. I have all mm. types of milk, honestly. I can have, like, pretty much every milk alternative that exists. I, I tried had... the low-carb stuff, and that's okay. Uh... I have had rice milk, almond milk, oat milk, uh, soy milk. Pretty much anything that you can milk, I've had it. Oh shit. Oh shit! Yeah, you don't wanna fuck with these fuckers. They eat things pretty quickly! Ah! Oh, it got one of the whites and killed itself. Okay. How fascinating. Yeah, um, he's dead now. And this thing was already dying, so. The very least we it didn't... was a waste. It was a waste of death. There we go. At the very least, I didn't kill any of the yellers. No! Oh, shit. oh, he'll be fine, baby. He's not fine. But it was a white, so I killed it. Great. Mm hmm. It'll be fine. Right, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get that guy back to base. Here, I have really reduced lost, like, fat two percent milk last time I checked. I think I drink dairy milk because I'm a human being. I drink lactose because I have, I have lactose intolerance now. I didn't used to. It's a sad story, really. I, I fear becoming lactose intolerant, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually, How do you think I feel? I'm scared of it. I'm scared of it. I don't want it to happen to me. <laughs> oh, you can take lactate. It'll be fine. I can take lactate. You can take lactate. How about that? I very much do. <laughs> oh, fucking fuck. Bowser. Yeah. Blame of tomorrow. It's from Bowser. It's from Bowser. Bowser Breath this, Brand. This is not an actual brand. It's something that they made for this. Would you like them to put Marlboro in here instead? <laughs> what's your favorite? What's your favorite spicy food? My dude, if you throw chicken wings in front of me, I will. F ah! Okay, do we just want to leave? No, 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 we don't. No, I'm good. I'm just trying to not die over here. And I succeeded in doing so. <sighs> Great. Okay, I'm coming back on over there. Give it. 
All right, where's the other treasure that we're trying to find? Really spicy um, chicken wings, dude. If you put if you put mango habanero on there, I will be, I'm I'll fiend on that shit. All right. I am a spicy chili guy myself. Spicy chili is pretty good. Or sweet chili, I should say. Spicy sweet chili. Yes. Yep. Good shit. Those are the best Doritos, too. Oh yeah! Oh god, no, where's it at, man? The long boy knows what's good. All right. We got a wall. Not oh, even that spicy. Well, listen, listen. I enjoy, <laughs> I enjoy the bee doves mango habanero. Like that one's actually like pretty. That one's actually pretty hot. So. I don't like super spicy shit on, and I can't have super spicy shit. I would destroy my intestines if sure. I did so. In general, I like sweeter wing sauces, right? Mm. Like I don't. I think that buffalo sauce is kind of overrated. I don't really enjoy it on. Boo! Chat, boo this man! No! No, it is! Listen! Boo, boo this man! If I, I am a Buffalo fan, and I am asking the chat to boo because I, <laughs> I do not agree with this information. If I'm. If I'm having. If I'm having chicken, I would like barbecue sauce on it, alright? Fair. I want barbecue sauce on it. I don't want buffalo. Buffalo's not even a chicken. It's not. It's, it's not a fowl, it's a bovine. Dragon Quest would like to know your location. Are you telling me that? Are you telling me that a buffalo made this sauce? <laughs> God. <laughs> there we go. There Screw it you! Is. No. Oh, boo yourself. <laughs> Not boo yourself. Boo yourself. I'm the fucking long boy. <laughs> Chad you is collectively agreeing to cheer you for not liking Buffalo Sucks. Buffalo Sox. Sucks, Chat. Boo! Buffalo Sucks. And your taste sucks if you like it too. Oh, God. I don't like spice, just be spicy. Give me spice and flavor, the which is why I like mango habanero. Because mango entire... habanero is spicy. You just lose like a hundred followers I lose that just because you don't like buffalo sauce. The Long Boy Club is a frauds organization. <laughs> it's a fraud. <clears throat> Anyways, we're moving down because there's nothing off here. Your king is a fraud. Gosh. The crown belongs to a phony. That begins the schism <laughs> over buffalo sauce. <laughs> you know what I also don't like? You know what I also don't like, chat? Oh, we're on the hot takes here. You know what I also don't like? I don't like boneless wings as much. <gasps> I know that's actually kind of fair. I enjoy having the bone in them. Otherwise, totally otherwise they're just they're just chicken nuggets with more breading on them. It you loses are... the point. Totally valid on that one. It I, loses I, the whole point. I like boneless wings, but I he, bands is actually spitting over here for that one. We listen. If there's no bone in it, it's just they're just chicken nuggets with more breading on them. No oh God, still. Yeah, I like... said it. I said it. <laughs> I'll die on this fucking hill. This is so amazing. I personally like the boneless, but to each their own. Why you two? Huh? There's. Oh, fuck. There might be a boss somewhere. Where's the... I can't look at the map. Wait, it's here. I forgot what it is, though. Oh, wait, it's probably one of the... Yep, yep, I, I figured. I figured it's going to be a daddy long legs. No! Ow! Oh, my God. I hate these things so much. I hate this guy too. I hate them too. Oh, they're so bad. This is, this is gonna be hell, dude. It's gonna be hell on earth. Actually? They're kind of. Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm panicking again. I'm panicking again. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, I hate these Holy fuckers so shit. much. I hate arachnorbs Holy shit. in general. I have arachnorb phobia. You have arachnorb phobia. Okay, well, you know what? He's dead. It's all good. 
Are you actually like scared of them? Like a Mario key. <laughs> that actually does look like a Mario 64 type type beat. Or um Mario World. Mm -hmm. f f f for life. Viral Mayware TV. Viral. <laughs> VT. VT. Thank you for following. You're now a member of the Long Boy Club for life. I appreciate you being here. Now, if you like buffalo sauce, you can just unfollow. But <laughs> <laughs> gosh, I'm drawing Joe a line like in the doubling. Bro I'm found out down. what he what made him controversial and is just doubling down on it. I'm drawing the line in the sand here and now. <laughs> Oi, Bro, that's my account, boss. Poster. No worries. Is it actually? No, am I telling one of my mods to unfollow? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this guy the stinks. Absolute, the uh, absolute hypocrisy of this man here. <laughs> but what about ranch? Blue cheese is better. Ew. No, not you. Blue How cheese you, is better. How could you not like buffalo? One of the most things that goes with blue cheese and not like buffalo. <laughs> but you like blue cheese more. <laughs> I'm a complicated individual. All right. That is, that is the most complicated you could ever be. He He's wrong. <laughs> I also don't hate blue cheese. I just think... I just think this is incredibly, but this incredibly is not incredibly strange. Not to say I don't like ranch. I like ranch. All right. I prefer ranch. I'm a southerner. But we put ranch on like everything. Ranch. I prefer I prefer blue cheese over ranch in general, and that's my that's the line in the sand. Oh. There was a southern restaurant that I that I used to go to when I was younger. Whenever there was a buffalo thing, like buffalo shrimp or buffalo sandwich, it was always ranch and not blue cheese. I don't hate blue cheese, but I don't think I could stomach it anymore, especially with my lactose intolerance. Right. Even even with a pill, it's still like so powerful. The last time I had anything with blue cheese on it and buffalo, my 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 insides were just. Oh my god, please. I, I wanted to die. <laughs> <I'll>, uh, <laughs> okay, well then, well then, don't give you mango habanero ever. Got it. <laughs> I enjoy mango I, habanero the best. Wait, wait, what the nothing hell? Nothing beats a cool, refreshing sip of water. I could try it. Where it is the how treasure much that is we're missing? That is a good question. Why is the map pixelated? Because this is We've just how it key. is in the game, right? Oh, the edges are pixelated. It's weird. Yeah, that's what I said. The original ranch is better. Mm, what is the original ranch? I was about to say, what is the original ranch as better opposed not be to fucking... like the ranch sequel? <laughs> if ranch is so good, valid. why is there no ranch too? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Bro is asking the real questions. I am. If ranch is so based and if buffalo is so based, why is there no ranch two or buffalo two? Well, you could say the same about barbecue. Well, listen, barbecue has a bunch of spin-offs, right? So does so do those things that you just said. <laughs> Have you not heard of Chipotle Ranch? <laughs> well, listen, they're not as based, all right? This guy has the most biased shit ever, man. <laughs> listen to this guy being like. In contrary. Oh, it's it's like a fucking Nintendo fan. Like, oh, oh, look at this really cool. Oh, I love Nintendo. I love this, this particularly niche franchise, but everything else sucks. Why why isn't there a new game for Captain Rainbow? Captain Rainbow 2 comes out. Where the fuck's Mario Tennis? Oh my god. <laughs> I think um, the Game Boy game having, um, the one they put on Virtual Console recently, I think that having, like, the extra content is nice, but I think I would have loved the extra mile of having the, the transfer pack stuff. Oh, what now? Sorry? Sorry? Um, Mario Tennis back in the day, for the 64 and Game Boy Color versions, yeah, yeah, they you were able to, yeah, they would be able to do that. And they did a workaround for, uh, Mario Tennis on Game Boy that they put on Switch recently. Hold on. But it's not being able to connect the systems or, or the consoles or the games. It's they just preload the characters that you can unlock through transfer stuff. It just they just preload it into the game. 
which is nice because the content isn't lost, but simultaneously, you can't transfer the RPG character between the two games, which is probably one of the cooler parts about it. It kind of sucks. <laughs> wait. The, the, the converse of that. Wait. Oh, wait. Is right. Um, uh, wait. I think I know what we're missing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, Fuck I'm, yeah. I'm on, I, I called it. Hell yeah. I forgot about the meter. We gotta be looking at the meter. No, no, I was like looking at the meter. I was like trying to like decipher where it was. I have not been doing that. You did what I did not do. See? I can play <laughs> Pikmin, okay? <laughs> yes, you can. How y'all feel about the game Pikmin 2? No, no, I'm a Payday 2. I, I like Pikmin 2. I've been enjoying playing it <laughs> so far. But Payday 2, I also like that. Payday 2 is really, really fun, especially with friends. I've never played Payday 2, but I think I got, like, the $2 version that came out when Payday 3 came out. Yeah, uh, Payday 3 is, uh, not a lot of people like it. Yeah. Not I haven't heard anybody like talk it. about it. Yeah, exactly, and that should it probably- It just came out, and then nobody said anything about it. It came and went because, like, a lot of people- Because, like, it wasn't what a lot of people really, really wanted it to be. Mostly because mm. it came out- It came out- <clears throat> Wasn't it because, like, it came out, like, with- Like, ah, real, like, with, um, uh- <laughs> Um, uh- Um, uh, bugs and shit like that? Like, why don't people like it as much? Because, like, Payday 2 had such a long shelf life. I played that all the time with like my friend Nelson and I other people. It. My best I recommend it. It's fun. Was always like showing me clips of it when she was playing it. Wow, we got an even four thousand. Man, we broke even. Yeah. That's a good one. To, that's good to go for. I think that's a good place to wrap it up. Then a good number to stop. Yeah. Uh, we have like a couple more hours in the day, though. Don't forget. I don't know if we can do anything with that time, but that time is there. I'm gonna snooze the fucking break timer real quick. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to get anything of worth done, I don't think. Mm, I can try. But we can, yeah, we can certainly try. In fact, here's what we can do. Mm -hmm. I think, I think the enemies respawn, right? Maybe. Mm, nope, they don't. Well, if we find anything. They, uh... I don't even think they respawn for a few days, or maybe they do. I don't know. I, I think they respawn when you come back for another day. Yeah, yeah, they do That's because it. like I found those like leaf bugs there, mm -hmm. and I killed them. The that day is before. all that they do. Hold on. Let me cook. He's cooking, chat. Um, shit. What's he? What's he doing? What's that? Oh shit! Oh, we need these. We need these. Let's get these. What are those? I don't think we got any of these. No! You get... Kill no! It. Oh, it was fine! <laughs> we need to at least get some bitter spray access before we end the game. Mm. So please, please let this work. Come on! Oh, shit, hi. God, I hate how they wriggle, too. Oh, yeah, and the, the fucking noise that they make is even more disturbing. That's fucked. We... Oh, we got one. We got one so far. I think we got enough to make a sample. I love playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on my Xbox. It's just a classic game. Uh... I will say, I've not really played a COD game in years. So. I have played Black Ops and I stopped playing because it gave me an existential crisis. <laughs> what? <laughs> Two, wow. I'm still very sensitive for being an adult. Like, a lot of, like, crazy shit, violence, and dark things can still kind of, like, give me, like, disturbing feelings. So when We're I played Black same. Ops... Yeah, when I played Black Ops, it was just too much for me emotionally. There's just, like, too much scenes of war, too much, like, direct violence. Sure. That I was just like, nah, I can play fucking Mortal Kombat, because, like, Mortal Kombat is stupid. Yeah, yeah, that's, like, heavily exaggerated. Yeah, and it's like, but when I'm playing, like, Call of Duty, it's like, oh my god, this is, like, war. This I is, like, a depiction of war, and it makes me feel about the reality of it, and I'm just like, no, I can't, nah. Sure, it's I get too you. much. I liked how it plays, though.
I mean, to an extent, like, I'm there sorry, is a reason. Zanu. Like, to That's an extent, sorry. like, there is a reason why it's been around for so long. So. It's, 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 it's a semi historically on. accurate depiction of real life events. Also, because, like, when it started, it was just a really good shooter. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, okay, so we got the bitter spray, so we have to worry about that for the rest of the fucking game. So, like, if you just don't get it here, you just won't have another chance at it. There was that one that we had in the Awakening Woods that we also could have gotten. But it's just that you won't, whenever you, like, open up eggs or whenever you get, like, any sort of thing where you normally get, like, you know, the spicy spray occasionally, you won't get poison spray from it ever. Okay. So... There's more gore and blood and bone breaking in the game. Hold on. We're not here. What the fuck? Holy f these it's so cramped. Right. Green Snake game Eva. and Call of Duty has a little bit of blood and guns and unrealistic. Listen, I man, we're not kind of we're okay. not here to split hairs. We're not here to split <laughs> hairs, okay? We're not here to split hairs and make people feel Feel I'm a uh, bad about like not oh, wanting I'm to fine. play something. I'm not offended by it. All. I know exactly. No, no, but I'm just like saying. I'm saying. I'm mm -hmm. just saying. I've watched a three-hour video. Like if you spinning every historical you, act inaccuracy in Call of Duty. Wow. If you I like mean, Call of Duty, it, that's okay. But like you know, it's fine if other people don't too. So. I mean, I didn't hate it. I just. I wished I wasn't so sensitive. <laughs> and I know it's not a bad thing, but... Uh, We're all about... Because uh, I need to do story research? For, like, for what? One ponytail doing a college thesis on Black Ops. <laughs> uh, I mean, you genuinely... I, I could picture, like, doing research on Call of Duty and its depiction of war. I could, I could picture that being sure. a, a legitimate college project. How you feel about chocolate milk? I like chalky milk. Um, I will say it's not my personal choice for like milk. Have you heard about blue milk? I've yeah yeah oh blue hi, yeah. Blue milk. Oh dude. When is blue milk coming again? I forgot. I'm looking it up right now. You know what the best ice cream flavor is? It's when Superman is... ice cream. It's got like blue vanilla, milk. cherry, blue and blue milk. and blue moon ice cream, which is which is essentially just blue milk ice cream. <laughs> when it's is really blue milk good. coming? Oh, April seventeenth. Mark your calendars, y'all. April seventeenth, we're getting blue milk. Oh, that's good. After forty-seven years, Chad, this milk is forty-seven years in the making. Forty-seven years. <laughs> It's a Star Wars thing, apparently. We are better. we are wasting company resources right now. Oh God! I saw you doing that. I'm like, this is the most ADHD thing I could be. I remember right doing, dude. When I was young, I would do this all the time on the map screen. Actually, <laughs> that's so so. Hey, I love that. <laughs> this is actually incredible. I Whee! love reenacting things that I used to do when I was younger when I play old GameCube games. I have been, I have been waiting longer for um, a GTA 6. I mean, GTA 6 is a thing, uh, presumably. <laughs> Ugh, jeez. Angel Lure XX. Hey, welcome back. Who are oh! talking about you? Apparently. Uh, something, something, something. Luke Skywalker drinks a blue tinged milk at the table with his aunt and uncle. For Super Star Wars fans, that's enough to make milk with a blue hue canon to the Star Wars universe. Quote unquote, under canon. Somewhere in the galaxy far, far away, blue milk exists, and now it's coming to Earth. So it's something, it's a Star Wars. Right? Okay. That's interesting. That's fun. <laughs> You can make this thing just go so high up that it leaves the screen. Oh, I like how it leaves the bottom, too. Yeah, yeah, like you can just go into the Earth's crust and just go so high up. <laughs> this is like genuinely the best thing ever. It's what? like, it's like a really shitty like flight, too. 
waiting longer for GTA 6. I'm waiting for fucking Dragon Quest 12, and I know I, it's me just being a Dragon Quest fan, but legitimately that game was announced like two years ago, and there's been nothing on it but the announcement, and it makes me so pissed off. Because it's like, it's gonna be like big, it's gonna be like, oh my god, they're gonna have like mature themes now, instead of like the regular stuff. I'm like, dude, what do they mean by that? What's the music going to be like without the, com the the same composer being there? Like, whoa, like, what is <laughs> happening with it? And I don't know. There hasn't been any news on it. In the original Sad. movie, yes, it was a dark, it was a <laughs> thick blue milk drink that was described as super horrible by Mark Hamill when he, when he drank the prop drink. That's oh, awesome. <laughs> And then, like, you have everyone around him being like, Mark, shut up, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> that shut one up. friend. Shut up, you know it's good. But no, uh, chat, I think that about does us for tonight, yeah? Hmm. Hold on, let's, let's get some pick pick carrots out for our guy here. Will it, like, work on him? I... think? <laughs> This is this is scary. <laughs> I'm getting away from this. Mm -hmm. Kind of just—it's very non-confrontational until it gets attacked. Ano beetle. This is scary. You think that's scary? You get this guy. Oh God. Does he actually like scare you? Yeah. Oh, I hate arachnorbs. When I play, like, when, I, when I, since I'm playing co-op, it was a lot easier and I was less scared. But when I'm actually playing by myself, arachnorbs scare the shit out of me. They are pretty... Not because I'm, not because I'm scared of spiders, because they're so huge, they're so stompy, and they can kill everything instantly if you're not careful. They are pretty scary, yeah. I hate them. I hated the one in Pikmin 3. That was like one of the legitimate threats that I had, and it was so hard to beat. It took me like two days to beat it. Yeah, that thing is really hard in Pikmin 3. Oh. How do you feel about cats? What, this? Jeez. Apparently, the studio prop department redeemed themselves with Mark Hamill when they made a vanilla shake for the green milk versus in Star Wars 8. <laughs> Interesting. So, like, they just gave a vanilla shake, like, green mm. food coloring. Hell yeah. I like that. That's fun. Oh, yeah. Ow! Apparently the... Yeah. But yeah. Well, yeah, I think that wraps us up, chat. Uh, Hell yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Toad, for, for giving nearly five fucking hours of your time to this. Oh, no worries, dude. I would give those hours for you. You're a cool fella, and I've been waiting to do this for, like, months. I'm genuinely glad that you had me here. <laughs> well, I'm glad to have you here. Uh, for Let's... those of you who have not followed yet, I would really appreciate it. I really appreciate it if you did. I stream twice a week. I mostly do wrestling content, but I also do stuff like this. I do um, uh, I do a lot of um, uh, chill stuff as well, whether it be shit like um, uh, Duolingo or let's see here or even just shit like this or pony guesser and where i try to guess like fucking still shots of like like episodes for like my little pony franchise magic that shit's really fun to me and i have a lot of fun with it um if that sounds cool to you feel free to follow i would appreciate it if you did also i have a discord server next weekend is wrestlemania weekend and we're gonna be watching it in the server uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun it's gonna be cool join a fun and cool community of um uh, wrestling gaming and other such silly nonsense um and be sure to follow toad if you've not done it yet he's been really cool Hooray! he's been really fun yeah uh, i um i've been playing through dragon quest 11 so if you like dragon quest you like jrpgs you like cool nintendo people it's I'm, almost time for a 120 seconds minute cheetos break and my dudes Paper mario occasionally when i'm not doing other things and i'm gonna be playing f-zero the new one the, the not the new one but the game way advanced one just gone virtual console Oh, e. oh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, but yeah, um, uh, go ahead and follow the both of us if you've not done it yet. Sweet. Now we're gonna go ahead. In fact, here also my socials. Let me let me go ahead and wrangle that up. Follow me on. Oh, I don't think the Discord one worked. Oh, it did. It did. I can't see it, but I guess you're right. 
<laughs> I see it in chat. Follow follow me on Twitter, on my YouTube, on all my shit right there. You can you can find it there. But for now, let's find someone to raid. Let's find someone to raid. Uh hold on just a second here. Well, let's raid um a uh, vapor skull. Actually, no. I wanna pay it forward to my friend Maxwell here. I want to pay it forward to him because he raided me last say, night. I've I've met around uh, Vapor before. Vapor's pretty show. Sure. It's cool that you also follow them. <laughs> I talk with Vapor sometimes. Uh, not yeah. uh, not like in a while, but absolutely. Mm, yeah. Like I have recently. The cat my my cat is stinky and he's also the best. So take that for what you will. All right, cool chat. Let me go ahead and. Uh, just do the usual ray message. And thank you all to all my agents that stopped by and gave Steph support. I it's really break appreciate time. it. Thank you for coming Where the for heck's me the cheetos, my dudes? Really appreciate you guys. Absolutely. If you've not done it yet, I would appreciate the follow. Um, but for now, I've been Giraffe Sev. I am the president of the Long Boy Club. And remember, when you're in it, you are in it. Your life! Go and follow Toad if you've not done it yet. He's really right. cool. Uh, I'll see you all later. Bye. 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 Bye.